Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Wild Beyond the Witchlight here on Dork Tales. I hope you're all doing well tonight. I'm Kelly. I'm your dungeon master here. I use he and him, and I'm excited to be here tonight in what might be the penultimate episode of Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Tonight, we are progressing further into the Palace of Heart's Desire. But before we talk about that, we're going to introduce ourselves, do a quick round of introductions, and uh, which is introducing yourself. Sorry, I'm thinking about game tonight. I got a bunch of plates spinning. Uh, and then we're also going to do any quick announcements, and then we're going to hop into game. So uh, let's do a quick round table over here. Let's start with Christine. Hello, I'm Christine. Um, I use she, her pronouns, and I play Gwendolyn Shafra. Uh, you can call her Wynn. She is our human monk. Beautiful. All right, over to Krista. Uh, hey, guys, I'm Krista. Uh, I use she, her, or they, them pronouns, and I am playing our Leonin rogue, uh, Isaac Rinaldi of the Runigling. Of the Runigling? Of the Runigling. The Massachusetts Runiglings? <laughs> the the new Hertfordshire yeah. Runiglings? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all, right. all right, down to Caitlin. Hello, I'm Caitlin. I use she, her pronouns. And tonight I'll be playing Luthien Eredel, the high elf gunslinger of the party. Beautiful. And to Robin. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Robin, I use she, her pronouns, and tonight I'm playing uh, Cicera Novus, aka Asasi, our tiefling clockwork sorcerer. Uh, yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, uh, and as I said, I'm Kelly, usual things here. Uh, all right, so it is very warm in British Columbia right now. It is, we're experiencing a heat wave, which for the rest of the world probably isn't that hot, but for us, it's, it's, it's quite hot. Uh, so, uh, I appreciate all of you who were willing to put on costumes and, uh, that you are not roasting terribly bad. Thankfully, the, the outfits that Krista made are actually pretty light, considering. It's almost like they took it into account when they made them. Almost. Almost, right? Almost. Um, not for myself, but for everybody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yours is like wool. It's spun wool from just like sheep well, sheep wool. This is these are blackout curtains. <laughs> oh, oh why? God. Why would Because you... it was the perfect fabric. It was so good. They, they are really rich. I have some right there that I used to block yeah. out the sun. They're pretty And this great. is about two wigs and fur, and this is unbreathable silicon. So Yeah, we need breathable silicon. Yeah. Um Okay, so um, besides that, a couple of quick announcements before we hop in. Uh, the first one is that last night we had the uh, session zero of Strixhaven, a curriculum of chaos that was streamed directly to our Patreon uh, after like two minutes of bugs. That's really all that it took with the new new software, like two minutes. That was pretty quick. Uh, and uh, anybody on our Patreon that uh, is a five dollar tier or higher can go watch that right now. Uh, this Friday we are recording uh, a bunch of the Dorkdale's podcast, which should be releasing sometime in. I think September, is, September 1st is when it's coming out or something around there, uh, which also will be available uh, in advance to everybody on the Patreon. So if you want to get on that, that's the the $5 tier gets you basically everything. It's a cup of coffee. Buy me coffee and you will get product. You will get content. And then go buy yourself some coffee. And then and go buy yourself some where, where would you buy that coffee? I would like Bones Coffee, please. And thank you. Would you? I, I'll buy you some, Krista, for all but your I hard work. I appreciate that. I, still I actually have, have some a from the I, last you bought me. It's it's right there. The last I guess, I bought. Oh yeah, I've got it, I've got some. I got to pick it up. It has a mug. Ooh, Ooh, it can go with my adventure dice mug. Wow, adventure dice! Yes, that sure sounds like a great place to get dice. dice. <laughs> and man, if I went to adventure dice, I'd use code Dorktales to save ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> do it do it we're so natural about this guys oh, oh i'm such a shell but anyway go support if you have money and want to spend it go support good companies that are doing good things if you want to use our coupon save some money if you find a better coupon use that i just want you to enjoy your life um i'm happy to take your money though <laughs> so and if you want soda, have zero sugar Mountain Dew. Not sponsored, could be sponsored. Could be sponsored. I have that literally in the fridge right now. I grabbed yeah, a Coke. Yeah, you do. It just wasn't See, cold. I'm I drinking a... Dr. Pepper diet. There you go. Sponsor could that be sponsored. Could be sponsored, sponsored by Canadian Healthcare, the doctor. <laughs> I am drinking Gatorade because holy shit, my office was hot all day. Yeah. Also a Coke product. Or wait, is that one a Pepsi product? Yeah. 
matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. No, P Power Rays is the Pepsi matter. product. All right. So without further ado, uh, those are that's my hopeless shilling. Let's hop into game, and I'll remind you where we were. Uh, all of y'all remember to open roll twenty because we've got some crazy, crazy map stuff. Also, thank you on YouTube for pointing out the map doesn't make sense even if you can see the entire map. <laughs> uh, there's no, there's only one way into the courtroom or the courtyard, not the courtroom. Uh, many ways into the courtroom in this in this world, yeah. um, but there's only one way into the courtyard, and it doesn't make any damn sense, which I love. All right, <clears throat> y'all ready for this? Yes. Last time on Wild Beyond the Witchlight, you continued in to the Palace of Heart's Desire, finally making it to the end of your journey. After bypassing a number of trials, including um, crowning wrath and envy, the lion and deer. You made it into the palace proper. Snooping around, you discovered that Kellek and War Duke, the two members of the League of Maleficence that you had been warned, warned of, were inside of the throne room at the center of the palace. You then continued looking for ways around, coming across a servant who explained to you some of the situation here, as well as that there was a, uh, a natural predator for the Jabberwocky that was guarding Zabilna's cauldron. An ancient owl in the aviary just north of the main floor. You began heading toward it, pressing through a kitchen where there were a number of frozen pixies decorating a cake. As you pushed past that, making your way north, Luthien, you caught something out of the corner of your eye. And there in a room ringed by stained glass with vines pressed against the wall, you saw Nico clutching a small fox-tailed boy, frozen, like the rest of the palace. As you watched, as you stared, as you motioned to each other, we called game. And this is where we're going to pick up with you staring at Nico, frozen in time. What do you do? standing frozen almost exactly the same not sure what to do uh, I think Sassy's gonna reach out the unicorn horn and run towards Nico Nico is clutching the small fox-tailed boy tears frozen like diamonds dribbling down her cheeks she's clutching the child tightly all around her, there are other frozen figures. The beanstalk has pushed some of them to the wall, and... Well... It's a moment out of time. You draw the unicorn horn. What do you do? Uh, I think Sassy goes up almost... Starting to look uh, almost emotional, and... Um, says... See, I told you you'd find you again. And she's going to take the unicorn horn and press it to her and say, Nico Freya. The room suddenly glows with purple light. And for a moment, you're all blinded as the world becomes nothing but light. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I told you you'd want to play tonight. <laughs> I hate it. We miss you. We love you. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> You're going to make me cry in my face, Pete. <laughs> so much so I. I suffer. As I <laughs> have suffered. <laughs> All right, so hello, Hayden. Welcome, Welcome back. back. 
Hello. Hi, Chad. Hello. All right. That was worth putting the wig on, even though I had a headache from the heat all day. <laughs> That's fair. I'm so sorry. I wish I'd known about it, though. It would have made it much easier instead of going, oh, I don't want to do that. Nope. <laughs> it makes no, it all no. the better. It's all it the better. It makes it for all the, the better. We, we swore to secrecy. We we knew that it would be a, a big a big surprise. Yeah. Keep it secret. Keep it secret. <laughs> I was. I you almost. almost you almost. You almost held it together. You. You just barely held it together when Robin was like, "I wish Hayden could be here tonight." Yeah. I, I, I was watching your face. I was like, "Hayden's gonna fucking be here." I, I handled that well. I was like, "You did." I was very proud I'm of very... you. I'm good with birthday I'm presents, folks. My fucking camera. There we go. I'm good with birthday I presents. What it. can I say? <laughs> All right. So, let's take a step back for a moment. Uh. Nico, as you step through the portal to embrace your brother, there was a flash of light. You smelled that familiar smell for the first time in so long. Instantly, a child again. For a moment, you felt like the last 30 years had passed in a heartbeat, or not at all. You wrapped your arms around his tiny frame. And then the next thing you know, you're seeing a flash of purple light. The room around you is a circular room. A beanstalk has burst through the center, lifting the upper floor into the sky. The stained glass windows along the walls are cracked or broken by the green stalks. There are various people, either cemented to the wall by the stems of the stalk, or just frozen in time. Something is poking you on the cheek. It's annoying. <laughs> just try to swat it away. <laughs> All right. Um... Uh, Nico has come back to life in front of you. Although the rest of everything here is still frozen in time. Nico takes a swat at the unicorn horn. And what do you do? I think Sassy almost like kind of drops it and just like hug. <laughs> Big hug. <laughs> what are you doing here? Saving you, obviously. From what? You were frozen. No? The hag Don Dalla to cross you. Comes from the <laughs> way in the distance. <laughs> Not necessarily. Well, you look like a statue. I don't feel like a statue. <laughs> That's because Sassy just saved you. <laughs> but why not my brother? Well, we don't know his name. We need, you need the unicorn horn and someone's true name to free them from the spell. So ah. mm -hmm. I think Sass will pick up the horn from the ground and then hand it over to Nico. Wait, are you Wanna serious? Find... Yeah. Go get go go retrieve your last item. Shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She'll walk over to Lorian and just kinda poop him on the nose. Okay. Say his name. Lorian. And there's another flash of purple light. And then a little plume of pink smoke. And a small doll drops to the floor in front of you. You recognize it. It was a fox-tailed doll from when you were a child. You and Lorian both fought over it regularly. <laughs> In fact, that was part of the reason you lost it. He wandered off in the carnival to find it. It collapses to the ground where Lorian, the child, once stood and looks up at you and blinks its button eyes at you, somehow. It 
In the distance, you hear hard-soled shoes walking through the kitchen. A voice that you don't recognize, Nico, goes, Uh, do I know you? <laughs> and at that point, a man rounds the corner. Ah, there you are. All of you can turn and see him. He's a well-appointed man, a gentleman in a three-piece suit with a broad brownish-red mustache. A opulent, a majestic thing that would give Isaac uh, definitely a run for his money. I don't know if he could, if he could top it. <laughs> he bears a cane and perfectly polished shoes and leans around the corner. You'll recognize him immediately, Nico. As Renard. Your patron. I was wondering when you'd finally get around to waking that kid up. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Time is strange, isn't it, Nico? Yeah? What? <laughs> it was a long time ago, the last time I saw you. Sort of. What do you mean? Well. <laughs> Lorian. That was the name, wasn't it? Huh. It's yeah. funny. You, you forget things like that after a while. What are you... What are you talking about? <laughs> after we were separated at the carnival, the hags found me. I thought they'd eat me when they brought me to Prismir. But she stepped in. She likes children. Even if... And he'll brush a hand down the tail of his coat, revealing a majestic foxtail that just kind of, like, comes out of nowhere. <laughs> she saved me. I studied well. But... I guess I couldn't resist a, mi a bit of mischief, so when the hags asked for me to uh, convince her about a little surprise, I couldn't resist. I had no idea it would come to this, though. But like I said, I studied well, and I left a little piece of myself in that toy. To bring you here. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, so... You... Me. Are Lori. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we carry a lot of names. Why didn't you just tell me? No, I feel like that might have been easier. I kind of forgot that was my name, to be honest, and it's a little muddy. I've been here for a few hundred years. It, it, it kind of, it, it's a little exhausting. Um, so, I'm here to ask a favor. And he takes a, a step toward you, and you can see that one of his legs is a bit wobbly. It's taken a lot. A lot more than I expected. And this is kind of a lot of my fault. I don't care. How, the, how is it your fault? The queen wouldn't be in the situation if I hadn't have played the bad hand. So, I'm gonna have to ask my sister to fix it for me. It was always my job, wasn't it? <laughs> Seems like I went hide-and-seek this time. So, but I mean... I think you kind of win in more ways than that. 
because I can only do what I can because of you. And I can only do what I can because of you. I guess we're even. Nah. I'm way cooler. I got the mustache and everything. I don't know if it works for you. I don't don't know. Have you seen Isaac? I feel like you could take some tips from Isaac. Would take more than that from that man. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna nap for a while. Please. <laughs> Until then, take the rest of what I have. Please. Fix it. And he's going to smile and poke you on the nose. Tag, you're it. And then is just going to kind of dissolve into moats. It's going to just try to reach out for him. The moats are going to go directly into you. Uh, You are now level eight. Yay! (laughs) Uh, And one single solitary moat is going to float away from you not flowing into you and is going to flit down onto the nose of the doll on the ground and the doll is going to raise one of its hands and go "Eh." (laughs) and i like it you now have your inspiration back as well as a talking animate doll shaped like (laughs) That has your brother in it. <laughs> and then kneel down just next to the doll and just kind of like pick it up. Ooh, not so fast. I'm stuffed. That's your own stupid fault, isn't it? Yeah, probably. You're not allowed to disappear into moats and not hug me, dumbass. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think you missed a step. Ah, crap. Um, he's gonna try to hug you with his little, like, like handless arms. Like, eh. Yeah, like, eh. gonna, like, hold Hugs him up. the thumb. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna, like, hold him up to, like, her shoulder and just. Start and as you, crying. you're gonna hear a <laughs> inside of him as you do that, like, a little. <laughs> or, like, I don't have a squeaky t- toy on me, but. Uh, oh, actually, wait, I do. Listen, hold on. if. If I were to squeeze a toy, my dog would come running. I don't care. (laughs) So you you squeeze him? (laughs) I forgot that Charlie leaves these in every room of the house. (laughs) Of course he does. He is Doge. I think I took 10 out last time I cleaned my space. It's ridiculous. 10. We oh, have a barking. problem buying he him heard toys. It. <laughs> yeah, of course! That's why I didn't squeak any toys near me! Because you would hear the... Of Corgan. <laughs> ah, there he is. Oh yeah, he's going insane. The sound of Kitsadria and the dis... Oh, sorry, <laughs> it should be like this. The sound of Kitsadria and the dis- <laughs> I know, I do that too. <laughs> and I was like, wait, no, my ears are up here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, this doll... Uh, we're going to use alternate what? rules because I don't like the animated doll rules. Uh, cool. Give me so, better things. <laughs> uh, so the animated, it's not the demon possessed doll, living doll, animate objects. It is supposed to be, uh, I'm just going to double check what it is supposed to be. I'm giving you the Strixhaven mascot version instead. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. So basically while you're holding this, you can um, once per, I believe it's short rest, it could be once per long rest, uh, you can you can give it a squeeze to get advantage on any fear related check. Oh, okay. It's Damn. so cute. Um, cherished stuffed animal, talking doll. See appendix A. Let me check my appendix one second. Oof, it's in flame. Yeah, you might. I was like, you might want to get that checked. Oof. All right, uh, so I'm just gonna double check this version because you might like it better. And talking doll, you can you can say up to six phrases. Nah, oh, basically it's just a little. Yeah, that's right. That's why I didn't like it because it's basically just like a little a little robot. This is way better. So yes, uh, give it a squeeze once per long rest, and you will get. Um, you will get bo- like advantage on fear checks. Uh, with that, uh, you'll also have inspiration. All of you have a point of inspiration. And 
What do you do? Um, She's just sitting there, just holding the doll of her brother, <laughs> kind of like laugh, crying, <laughs> just like, what the fuck is that? Uh, um, hey, Nico. Yeah. Well, now that you're, I mean, alive again, not that you weren't alive, but I mean, you were frozen as a statue, so you were essentially not alive. And you got your brother. I mean, he's kind of in you, which is kind of weird, <laughs> but you also have a doll of him, which is also kind of weird. This whole but, situation's kind of weird. You're so. kind of weird. So, <laughs> you got button eyes. You're kind of weird. Sorry. Right, you. Can you say you're both kind of weird and then just move on? Yeah, yeah. Agree to be weird and let's even go. square or weird squared. I don't know. You've got but, oversized yeah. boobs. What are you? <laughs> I mean, you're kind of undersized right now, so I don't think you'd know. Uh. Okay. Anyways, we dealt with the hag, so let's deal with the queen. Yes, let's okay. actually catch Nico up to speed. <laughs> yeah, what happened? Oh, that's this is Elkhorn, <laughs> by the way. We picked oh. him up along the way. He's a, a Viking helmeted uh, dwarf is going to round the corner <laughs> and go. Uh, quite an old one, uh, definitely pushing into his later years. Who looks kind of like this. Hell yeah, I love him. Go around the corner and just kind of like. <laughs> Nice to- there's a big cake in here. Would- would you care for some cake? I think Is it like, if I drink. eat cake, I stay here forever kind of cake? Or is I it I mean, like there is a lot of cake. It might- Did anybody else have the buns out there? I can't remember who ate them. I did not. I had the buns. I didn't. Somebody did. I think I ate the food, yeah, because it smelled really good and I, uh, Actually, I, I mean, if you do, I Nico, then uh, you'll be stuck here with Sassy. So, Nico, this you will uh -huh. briefly recognize this is the guy that was locked in the basement that, that Sassy let out. Oh! So, yeah, you, so you did meet him for, like, five <laughs> minutes. Oh, yeah. But now he's, like, oh, wearing right. clothes, so it's probably better. Uh, you, yeah. Hi. I do remember. <laughs> good to see you not junk in the wind though i, I mean i i had a loincloth maybe not enough cloth uh, uh, the, yeah the, it, it didn't help it was a it was a yeah. busy day we saw everything Ooh. too late We've already seen everything oh no <laughs> i'm going to go eat my shame and he's going to go back to eating some of the cake <laughs> i'm not gonna that. remind him that it gets moldy after it is out of time so he can figure yeah. that out himself. Well, but the pumpkin you know? was able to eat it and then move away, and it was still inside it okay, so I think it's going to be fine. He just can't take it with him. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> uh, okay, but cat, catch up. Let's oh, play catch yeah, up. so after we <laughs> defeated the hag and you went through the portal thingy, uh -huh. we... How the hell did we get to... to 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 yawn. How do we get there? I forget. I forget. You took a uh, you took a, oh, a balloon. The storm balloon. I think it. Or was no, you balloon, walked. Yeah. You walked to you walked to yawn. Oh. Oh, we walked. Oh, yeah. yeah, we we walked through the the. Oh right. Um, the mist. squirt squirt led us. Yes. Yeah. Right. So we went to yawn, which is this really mountainy, hilly place. I almost got taken by like a tornado. Yeah, um, that was the whole thing. We met a talking dandelion who you'll see at the gate. They're kind of standing back at the thing. There's a dandelion that's a fencer that protects a bee, a queen. Perhaps bee. the details of the tales can be waited until after we've released everyone from <laughs> right, the grand you're right, you're sleeping right. spell. But if you wait, take a wait. look at your left when you exit the gates, you will see a dandelion who is also <laughs> a lance. Precisely. Yes. All right, yes. But we, we, we didn't defeat defeat. Endolin, but we uh -huh. we turned her into like mist, and she needs to like reform. But well, we, I had uh -huh. it bad enough that she GTFO'd. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And then now we're here too. We found out that you need to find a true name, and then touch the horn, so we can go find Zabilna, whose real name is is. I was Ig about to say, Ig I'm like. Ig 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 okay, I was Ig about to ask. I'm like, do you know her true name? Because I feel like that might. Kind yeah, of no, Igwilv. 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 Cool. Mm-hmm. And we just can touch her, and then maybe she can freeze everyone. But there's also 
his his enemies and mm. sassy will point the league of malevolence the, the, uh -huh. the league of malevolence they've taken mm. over the palace but, I mean, if we sneak by Sam and free the queen, then she can just kind of deal with yeah. them all. But we gotta watch out for them, and then the Jabberwock mm. as well. We need to watch out for. But cool. there's an owl that can mm -hmm. potentially defeat the Jabberwock, who we're mm -hmm. going to find first, I believe. I thought so. Um, welcome back. And he's gonna hand each of you a slice of cake on a plate. What kind of cake is it? Oh god. Uh, when will just shog and start eating it? Yeah, I'm just. Uh, oh, wait, I'm still eating it. I'm just curious what cake I'm eating. Sorry. Uh, you know that video serious. of me on my birthday, just full yes. face, just eating yes. the cake. That's Nico right now. Yeah. Just, oh. The book. The book does. Oh, uh, no. The cake is perfectly uh made of cream, sponge, fruit, and white icing. Yum. Mm. Uh, if anybody who glances out, this cake has, weighs a hundred pounds and is eight tiers. It's a hundred pounds of sponge cake. Oh my god. <laughs> like I said, you could, you could literally eat forever. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Oh, it sounds so good. The chat is saying it's Mexican oh. mocha. Mexican mocha was for the next day. They alternate. Ah. <laughs> Makes sense. It's like I Taco see. Tuesday. You can't do that on Wednesday. You got to do it on, mm -hmm. you know, Taco mm -hmm. Wednesday is, you, you can't. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, I want to rerun this entire module where you just the only difference is you go into the kitchen and it's just like a giant sombrero created out oh of tacos. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just, Can that just it's, be in real life, please? It's just the no Ortega way. guy going <laughs> <laughs> Just por que no los dos? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little little floating fairy like Taco Bell Chihuahuas. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just just to be as as awful as possible. I want a taco. Oh <laughs> I want a. I, I had a quesadilla for heckin' oh. um for my dinner. Oh, very good. I, I Almond need... flour tortillas. California with the good stuff. I made it myself. Like, In California. In California, <laughs> and I am the good stuff. It's true. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Well, let's enjoy more of the good stuff. All right. So you've all got a little piece of cake. Um, so. so I believe we're trying to find the owl. Yes. And the queen. Yes. yes. Yeah. What? Hmm. Apparently, there's a big bird that the Jabberwocky hates. What? It hates the Jabberwocky? I don't know. That's the owl. Mutually. Probably, to be honest. Yeah, that probably I mean, not that sounds about other. right. <laughs> Who? Yeah, yes, precisely. <laughs> Get all the icing out of your beard. It's not. It's never coming out. He's the new no. wind. <laughs> it, it lives there. <laughs> oh, uh, can, uh, Nico, what's your passive perception? Pretty good. Um, You're going to notice there 15. is nothing. There's nothing in Wind's hair except for hair. Gwendolyn, did did you do what? something with your hair? As in no candy? Oh well, that just got washed out and yawn. How, how do you get that much cotton candy out of it? I mean, it's not pretty. That hot. She's pretty lucky nowadays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh yeah. When when will go dance over the vines in the room and be like, look 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 what I can do. I'm not she doesn't fall I, once. I kind of want to push you. She well, dodges I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna, but I won't. <laughs> but I wanna, is what I'm saying. She's just but, like, I'm not falling. I'm glad. So what's the plan? From here, there are several ways that you can progress. You could head up the Beanstalk and see what else is up there. Or you could head to the north through the dining area and try to make it uh, kind of toward the aviary, which is where um, uh, Thinnings said the owl what might be. Was? Yeah, mm -hmm. if you trust him. I suppose mm -hmm. we should try the aviary, proceed with caution. Thinnings was skeptical of us, but I, I feel like sending us to a weird place would be a strange choice when he could have just hid from us. Well, I mean, and he just wanted to see the, the unicorn horn. 
make sure that yeah, we, we were legitimate lip plan and try like or actually yes. could mm-hmm. free the How's- queen how far does this beanstalk look like it's going? Oh boy. Thought- so the tower above this area is, uh, the beanstalk is 80 feet high, elevating the floor of the tower, 20 feet above the palace roof. Oh so shit. Okay. It's an, so it's, it's just like, pfft. it's, it's a beanstalk. They're not, it's not messing around. All right. So there are a couple of ways you can go. You, you could do that, you know, if you are so inclined. What do you want to do? I do, do think it would be a good idea to look the, go to the aviary. Oh yeah, no, I that think- That would be should, my vote. I, yes, like yes, let's, let, let's go. Sure. Once we free Z- Zabilna, Igwilv, we can search this castle to our heart's content. Well, I mean, she might not love you poking around all the corners of her castle. That's true, but we could ask. We could ask. Yeah, we could ask like, if we could oh, have a tour. We could, mm-hmm. yeah, we could get a tour. Yeah. Save, it does sound quite accommodating. Save things that tour. What? Never mind. Never mind. Oh. I'm, I'm just saying finish what all the things we need to do. Yes. And then... And then tour. Is what mm-hmm. I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Go save the queen and then tour. And yes. then tour. Uh-huh. <laughs> Neat. Yes. Right. Nothing will go wrong. It never goes wrong. All right. As you Wynne say, Wynne looks at you with a very suspicious look and starts backing up. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like something Nico would say. If it is, that that something's going to go wrong to you now, and I don't want to be in the splash zone. Mm. I'm just saying, things don't always work out as as we planned. Uh-huh. It's true. Oh, you missed Please see I turned, was statue. You, I turned into a dragon at one point. Oh, oh shit, that's cool. Gwendolyn. Right. Details after. Oh yeah, no, what I'm saying is as we're walking out of the room, <laughs> walking and talking, um, we're walking and everyone, talking. Let's go. As everyone's walking, um, Isaac's just gonna kind of catch Nico and kind of mm. cross his arms awkwardly and I didn't really get a chance to say goodbye and I'm very glad you're back <clears throat> I definitely didn't cry when you left though I'm sure you didn't bullshit <laughs> I'm sure you didn't G- grass <laughs> wind, wind face is and just, just, just <laughs> no. does a drive by whisper <laughs> I'm just, just gonna like look at winds like. <laughs> it's okay. You don't. You know, some people just don't cry over their friends disappearing and turning to stone, but it's fine. I'll get over it, I guess. I would have cried for you, but you know, for that. Well. Well, my. You know. I would have wrecked my mustache, and your brother seemed to like it, so. Perhaps uh-huh. we should continue <laughs> you know, on it's our a, way. It's, it's a shame he's just a doll now. He seemed pretty into you. You know. Who knows? Maybe we can work that out. Well, we have a task to do to do that anyway, so let's focus on the task. I, let's mm-hmm. you let's two can compare mm-hmm. mustaches afterwards. Wink, mm-hmm. wink. Mm-hmm. I mean, my brother. You know what? Maybe I didn't miss you. I. I'm done. <laughs> I'm just going to start walking off. <laughs> All right. So uh, there are two sets of double doors to the north of the kitchen. Um, the ones that are flanked by cupboards seems to be the one that you were aiming for before, the one that's closest to the beanstalk room. Um, <clears throat> so as you kind of stride away, is somebody going to open those doors? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> As soon as you do, you are going to start hearing this horrible noise, this... And as you swing the door open, you'll see that paintings of fey creatures and the mounted heads of majestic elk with golden horns decorate the walls of this dining hall. In the middle of the hall, a deformed giant, hideous, with boils and pustules covering its lanky, purplish, pale physique, leans over this table. It's 
covered in food, and the giant has a grease-stained tablecloth tucked under its chin. And she washes down each slobbering mouthful with a gulp from a full barrel of beer. There's a tea cart in one corner of the banquet hall that has an iron kettle and a tureen of steaming soup resting atop of it. Mm. 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 Are you going to bring me the cake? Oh, well, well, sure, if you're ready for it. She slaps her hand down on a giant ham hock that must have come off some type of enchanted boar because Isaac and um, Isaac and Elkhorn could easily hide inside of that ham hock were it hollow. She picks it up with one hand, thrusts it into her maw, and just pops it out just the bone slams the bone on the table. I want the cake. And then she starts eating the bone bite by bite. When that will... Impressive. Yeah. Good. Uh, all right, let's get the cake. Sassy's oh, gonna like, as, hey. as we close the doors back, Sassy's gonna be like, um, let's try and hide the fact we just took out like six just... slices. Like yeah. Isaac, Isaac already has a tube of icing and it's just like squish it. Oh yeah, make perfect. me make me a, a dexterity plus deception <laughs> roll, please. Can I assist, oh, baby? Yeah. Yes. Please. Yes, you cool. may. Take advantage, beach. Oh. Fantastic. Right. Advantage with plus ten. And I'm in. Oh, let me try to maybe hack up this vine and move it out of the way so we can roll this cake in, because <laughs> there's clearly a vine oh, yeah. in the way on the floor. Okay. Uh, you are going to be able to, to find something to hack it if you don't already just use your comma, right? I will use my comma for ease. <laughs> All right. What did you get on that, Isaac? It'll be a 29. 29. All right. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, it's basically going to be just like filled with icing, but it is flush. You put like a little strawberry he, on he top. He tries to do that sort of where it looks like it's cut in to make it look like a geode. He finds some like rock sugar and sticks nice. it in there. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that sounds, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch too many cake decorating videos. <laughs> <laughs> I love those. Uh, so nice. El Elkhorn's going to like put a, put a hand on your elbow as you finish. Boy, you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. God damn it. So, shall we maybe try and go up the right side of the room, put it on the table, and then go out the door behind her while she's distracted? I agree. I mean, I guess. Sure. Yeah. I literally can't think of anything else to do, so. <laughs> no, I think that sounds great. Distract her with the cake and then just, like, sneak around. You just, like, mm -hmm. slide it and you go. And if we need extra sneak, I can pop into a fox and I can like hide so it's like less conspicuous. I just don't to go get invisible. caught because you'll probably be just like an, an appetizer. Not not even, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm a snack. <laughs> Tiny one. <laughs> no. We're very mature here and I love it. <laughs> Listen, I am an adult. I'm an actor. I can do what I want. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So, uh, rolling the trolley in, it's going to just chick, 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 across the floor, doing that thing that uh, anyone who's ever pushed a trolley uh, for food service knows it's going to be the noisiest thing in the entire universe. Just. <laughs> Oh yeah, because that's a tiled on, floor probably too in yeah. the in the car. And you're desperately hoping that the vibrations of this does not cause the food to fall. It's true. Okay, so uh, pushing into the room, the cake is going to teeter and totter, but it won't fall down. <laughs> and uh, you are going to uh, make it to the edge of the table where she looks down at it eagerly uh any of you with any knowledge of the fae can do me a favor and make me either an mm -hmm. arcana or a nature role i think could probably say what she is um i'll say that caitlin you could probably roll as well 
You rolled a nat one? No, I got one. Oh, you got one. <laughs> I got one. Yeah, I have 17. a minus one to int rolls. <laughs> 17 for Sussie. Oh. oh, no. She is a giant, but she is absolutely hideous. Uh, did anybody else get anything? Yeah, that would be uh, honey. It's my fucking arcana. Be uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, she's a Fomorian. She a Fomorian. Oh, she's right. nasty looking. She, she, she is <laughs> nasty looking. Absolutely. Uh, in Ooh. fact. All right, sitting at the edge of the table, you will roll the cart up to her, and she will look it up and down. Mm. Are you as sweet as you look? I could use an appetizer. Ha <laughs> Although that is a big cake. Just like Calix said. Eight tears high, lit with blood red candles, icing white as snow. Why ain't the candles lit? Uh, one second. Firebolt, 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 nice. firebolt, firebolt. <laughs> I want to slide a hand roll to firebolt these things without uh, firebolting. Okay. What? How about a performance? All yes, our, what about all our performance? performance? Yes. Nice. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to spend determination on that. <laughs> um, because I rolled a six plus five is 11, but determination is 14. Okay. Uh, 14, you'll be able to use your firebolt to, to, to do it, to light them without uh, accidentally, like, starting a giant combat with Fomori. Good job, good job. If you could just, like, whoop, whoop, didn't whoop, start whoop, whoop, the fire. Whoop, whoop. Oh, wait, to do, though, all the time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, it's kind of your niche. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, lighting the candles up, she'll take a look at it and mm, yeah, that's pretty good. I like my sweet spicy. Uh, and uh -huh. with that, she is going to just take one of her huge clawed hands and jam it directly into the guts of the cake and just start going. Oh, 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 oh. All right. While she's kind of distracted by lifting it up to her face, Wynn's going for the doors. Same. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The end will go to stealthy yet quick. All right. So this is the scene that you were privy to, by the way. Oh, yeah. I love I love the art in this book though. It's so good, dude. It's, it's so good. I almost picked it up the other day just for the art. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Picked up Van Richten's instead, but the Van Richten's had some really killer art. Um, Dude, it's during, cool. If we have a break tonight, I want to show you art from another book I picked up recently that is yeah, just please. phenomenal. Um, all right, so continuing. Sorry, one of my lights flickered and I was confused. Um, <laughs> I'm like you're not allowed to do that. You you've been a workhorse for the past three years. You're fine. Okay, so you're <laughs> going to be able. You have fed her the giant cake. You're going to be able to move past her without a problem. Stepping into the room directly behind her, you'll open a set of doors and find yourself in a long hallway. It stretches off in several different directions, forming a basically an upside-down T, um, veering up to the north and down to the west, where it ends in three sets of double doors. Now, we... What's his, what's his face? Thinnings, thinnings, thinnings. Thinnings said the Avery was like the north part of the. Yes. I think so. Yeah. So I guess we should go up this hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Go. And I mean, this is the only door, so. Okay. Wind's gonna try the door. Okay. So. All right, heading up into that room. Okay. And pardon me just one moment. I'm getting on to the heckin' roll 20 just in case. He's probably okay, good. Here we go. So you are. You are roll 20. All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> As you head down the hallway, you move toward that, trim, that set of double doors. There. You crack it open, and an enormous owl stands Ooh. perfectly still in the middle of the room. 
Its wings partially outstretched, a wall of iron bars stretching from floor to ceiling forms a protective barrier around the chamber's entrance, keeping visitors separated from the owl. The wall across from the double door has a 20-foot high circular opening sealed with hinged semicircular windows and wrought iron frames. The marble floor is littered with the bones of giant rats that have been plucked clean. Although, let's be honest, in other places there are quite a few what look like large bags, almost like cocoons that have been hacked up in the corners. Owl pellets. Owl pellets the size of gnomes. Well, the owl's frozen. The owl is... Mm. Actually, wait, I remember that. Uh, wait, is the owl frozen? <laughs> Sorry, one sec. That's something <laughs> I really... You, you said <laughs> it wasn't moving, so yes. I didn't know if it was frozen not yes. moving or like Sorry. sleeping not moving. <laughs> that's the one that's, that's one of the only things I couldn't remember from, from my notes because uh, I was try so worried about getting Hayden set up. Um, <laughs> so looking at this, uh, the owl is kind of like flapping its wings in mid-motion and is frozen, yes. Uh, it is okay. it is a snowy-faced owl, if that helps. So the big black eyes set into kind of that Y-shaped, like circular white face. Did Finning say its name? Bloody beak. Bloody beak. That. Well, bloody I mean, it's not that far beak. away. I think a bloody beak. I think you're correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's bloody so, beak. Oh, maybe a stick. Isaac checks his notes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's either it's either bloody beak or beady bork. Definitely All right. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Never do in my life if I want it to be a druid. <laughs> are its doors open? Uh, they are not presently. Hmm. And like I said, you are separated from that by basically a cage, like a protective barrier. Can you reach, right. Sassy? Uh, can I reach if I stick my hand through the bars? Mm, it's pretty far away. It's about it's about six feet away from the bars. Hmm. Now the bars are spaced enough; uh, they're one foot apart, uh, so the thinnest of you could probably fit through. Isaac. Mm, I know he's broad. <laughs> uh, That's what I was joking. I was making the joke. Oh, okay, probably I wasn't sure. the broadest person. I mean, are you all the animals freeze it? Let's maybe try and get the doors open. So it could Nico get can probably fit through. I was just box. gonna say. Also, mm. are you good with animals? Just Ooh. in case. I Nico? can certainly try to be okay. Okay. <laughs> let me just rack my brain on uh, past yeah, experiences. Let, yeah. Let me let me think about <laughs> past experiences mm. in forms of plus or minus plus numbers or minus. on a on what a. What was the vibe check? What was my vibe check? <laughs> I would say I've got like a plus three if I'm really like if I'm gonna put a number on. It. Uh, if you had to, right? If I had to put a number um, on, yeah. It, three. Good. <laughs> can cool, we? Cool, cool, cool. Can we perhaps tie? <laughs> make a little. If, if once once um. Uh, once Nico turns into a fox, can I perhaps make a little like rope harness, and then that way I can Ooh. tug her back if something happens? That's a good idea. Oh, sure. I just had a terrible thought. <laughs> so Punk on the bar. I have Sorry. two <laughs> options when I turn into a fox: is that mm -hmm. either all of my items can drop, and I am just fox, or all of my items turn into a fox with me. Mm -hmm. So that means the doll of my brother. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> They've I'm doubly so come apart of you. <laughs> oh my gosh! I yeah. yeah. Alternately, <laughs> alternately, I forgot we had your brother. Your brother could do it. Perhaps your brother no. would like to help. I'm kind of yeah. tired. Uh, yeah, no. That's fair. Um, I mean, fair. I could. But this is kind of your quest. No, you're, you're just gonna... Someone want to hold him? I can hold him. Yeah, keep an eye <laughs> on him. Thank you. I just don't want him to become as Fox. Fair. 
I just here's yeah. the horn. I'll train you, brother, Love for here. horn. Well, cool. La well, cool. Why don't the horn shouldn't become his fox either? So yes. why don't you get? Why don't you put <laughs> it in her mouth afterwards? I yeah. mean, the owl's not that far away. What about a stick? Tie it to a stick, and poke the owl with it, and say the name. I'd be scared it would slap it. I would. I think. I think someone should have a good grasp on it. To be honest. Oh, I have it. I have it. I have my the staff from Skrillex. Nope, not Skrillex. Whoa. <laughs> but Skilla. tie it and prepare to pull back right away before it can react. All right, up to you. Well, I mean, better than standing right next to it and doing it. Wait, we still. Um, are, are we going to unfreeze the owl before we open the windows? No. Okay, you worried me for a minute. I was really starting to. Okay. No, no, no. We're saying just. Who, I mean, that's what, what I just we're said. Get up. Oh, sorry. I, I wasn't listening. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I bumped sorry. It. It's okay. You could stop doing it, though. <laughs> I'm doing nothing. It's, it's all Alcorn. I'm sorry. It's just a uh -huh. fun noise. Well. <laughs> Can you stop speaking, my brother, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that quote down. <laughs> also, uh, yes, Nacro in our in the Twitch chat. Yes, Mage Hand would be great if I took that spell. Yeah, there's a few. This is where I use my Mage Hand if I had if I it. Had one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Tastiel, what are you doing? We're Nico's yeah. gonna go unlock the door. I'm gonna yeah. tie the horn to onto my Eldritch staff and then poke it. I mean, oh, you could just use my quarter staff. <clears throat> uh, sure. I mean, it pulls it off her back. It's just a wood Here stick. Here you go, Win. Would you like the honors of poking the owl? Uh, sure. While Nico's doing her thing. Wynne's gonna sit down very carefully, tie that horn onto it very firmly, kind of like um, a spear. Isaac horn. is desperately trying not to comment with his plus 15 sleight of hand, is just going, mm -hmm, nope, she'll figure it out. Make me, a sleight of, <laughs> make me a sleight of hand roll, make me a sleight of hand roll, Christine, I gotta know. My sleight of hand ain't bad. No, oh. well, you have an insane dex. I was, so like, yeah. I was like, your dex is gross. Yeah. So. Uh, 23. Yep, so the, 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 the Church of the Orphan is used to tying people up for various reasons. <laughs> oh. All right. I mean, that's the only real way to play hide and seek, right? Tying people up. Oh. We lose more We lose more converts <laughs> that way. The Sassy's just going to, like, look at, give Wynn a, 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 a little bit of a concerned glance at that, that just, like, sparkle. Okay. She sparkle does a, innocence. A passable <laughs> job, Isaac. Acceptable. Acceptable. <laughs> All right. All right, so. Nico. Fox up. I don't know. That just felt weird to me. Sorry. But get, anyway. Get the, get the fox out of here. Open those foxing what? doors. I don't know. <laughs> okay. They're trying to. Just please open the windows, Nico. That, yeah, that'd be great. That's what I'm doing? <laughs> She's just going to pop into a fox. and slide on between the bars, pop into a people as soon as she's through. All right, so popping back into a person, uh, you can easily make your way through the bars. You can even do like a little sachet. Honestly, your tail is the thing that almost sticks the most. It's just so poof. Yeah. All right. Poof. So you'll make your way through without a problem and then can uh, wander across to where the, uh, where the doors are. As you yeah, just gonna oh, go ahead. Uh, as you approach them, you'll try to yank them open, and they are sealed tight. I'm gonna just gonna do like one of these, just kind of like just just to see if it works. It's not gonna work, and she knows it, but she's like, shake it. No, just, just try to. Try to 
pick it open. I don't have thieves' tools, but I do have have nails. That, are they that I... are they locked or are they stuck? It feels probably like, locked. Feels like they're held fast. There's no latch. There's nothing that holds them tight. They're just sealed. Let me try this. And Sass is gonna cast knock. <laughs> well, that would have nice. made life a lot easier. I'm sorry, gang. Does yeah, that work from a distance? I thought you had to actually knock. Nope, on the door. sixty feet range. I just, Sick. I just looked it up because I was nice. curious if I had to touch it. And it's no. Nope, you just have to make foot. a knocking gesture. Is the way that. Yeah, it just like. You know. All right, and with that, yeah. they light is going to f uh, flood into this room from the outside as the doors go. <sighs> Nico is looks keeping an intense look on the Ooh. owl. Just to make sure it doesn't twitch. No fooling. Make, make me a make me a uh, Constitution check to see if you can outstare a frozen owl. <laughs> Natural twenty, baby. You know what? It doesn't blink before you do. <laughs> All right. What are y'all doing? So, Nico, you're standing over by the doors. Uh, I yeah. guess Nico come back and win. Yeah. Poke that owl. Just gonna. All right, I'm ready. Moonwalk her way out. <laughs> like, All right. <laughs> All right. So, making your way back through the bars. Um, yeah, you can totally tap Bloodbeak if you want. It was Bloodbeak. Bloody Beak? I don't know. What, 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 what's his name? You tell me. Bloody Beak. Bloody Beak. Bloody. I have written yeah. down. Is it? Right. Okay. Yes. Wynn definitely did not write that down. All right. Bloody Bert. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Wynn's going to try and poke and say it and jerk back really quickly. <laughs> okay. So hopefully we keep the unicorn horn. <laughs> and uh, let me just check something. Chat has told me that knock makes a lot of noise. I'm going to double check how much noise real quick. Oh, cool. I think it can be heard oh. from 300 feet away, if I remember is right. That, oh, wow. that's pretty loud. Oh. Yeah, it's very loud. I think it oh. resonates like 300 feet. a loud knock feet. audible away from me as far as 300 feet. Well, yep. we're practicing Ooh, the jabber walk to go find okay. the Okay, so Woo! as, as you... So you're as, saying they should have come for us earlier. As you climb through the fence... We haven't used knock yet. We we use the... the, the no. Yeah, the chime the of bell. opening. Chime. Uh, so, Nico, you're going to manage to make it through that cage again in time to hear this. Ooh. Get him. Echo Bloody beak. across the distance. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you poke, po do you poke Bloody Beak? Uh-huh. Okay. And you say Bloody Beak. All right. Uh-huh. Uh, Bloody Beak happens to be its name. And suddenly the owl is going to continue. Look around confusedly. Hi, it's ever so nice to meet you. Um, I I understand that you don't like the Jabberwocky. It tur it tilts its head at the sound of that roar. It's been being very rude recently, so we thought we'd let you mm -hmm. free to maybe. I could see the air of his ways. As, as it kind of tilts its head to listen, and you're talking, it stops paying attention to you and turns its head around without moving its body <laughs> completely, <laughs> looks out the back door, and then turns its head back around to look at you. You don't think the same. Maybe it was the it that that's creepy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it kind of looks over at you. And it's going to turn and take flight, leaving, uh, I feel leaving like the we're roost. Friends now. Well, at least we know where the Jabberwocky is, and now we know for sure that the owl is gonna find, find it. it. Yeah, me yeah. too. That was a good thing. Probably also means that the League of Malevolence knows we're here too. Yeah, it should probably be on our way. Yeah, we I forgot that hurry. that makes that loud of a sound. I just figured well, that right. that's all right. Okay. 
Sounds good to me. So where are you headed next? Oh, do uh, we have any indication? From here, none. Okay. Well, I mean, we kind of roughly know. We need to go up and that way, I think. Because we're gonna. So we don't want to go that way, unless I mean, you never really know where any of the doors seem to go here. It doesn't make yeah. much sense. We're assuming the queen's in the throne room, right? Well, we. I mean, that seems like. Or a in suit. her bedroom. Probably. Or, or her, her bedroom. bedroom, maybe. Depends on where she was. She was when it happened, I suppose. Yeah, the, the did, thinning's never when, mentioned Didn't you that. see the throne room? I thought so. Did, did you, you see, see her? her? Did you see her? No, just those wizard. The wizard dudes at Elkhorn do not Alright, so she's not in the throne room, potentially. I wouldn't so we doubt should it try if it was and... would, she, would she be taken upstairs? Over. I thought thinning kind of indicated Eventually. up at the back of the palace here. Yeah. Sure. Was where he thought she was. Well, let's uh, go upstairs. Why would he not know? It's so strange. All right, fine. Anyway. Well, I mean, he may not have explored too much with all the League of Malevolence peoples. But also, if he could, is he not a hundred percent sure we're trustworthy, giving a rough True. estimation is probably safer to protect his queen. As so you walk I don't, to, th don't trust him. As you walk to the end of the hallway with the three sets of double doors, the, the southernmost door is the most ornate, and next to the lock is the symbol of a stag. Oh, oh so that one's probably open. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm let's just try it just to see real quick. Yeah, let's see what's in there. All right, so... Hopefully there's nobody we need to fight. All right, clicking the door open. It will open easily at your touch. On the other side, you will see the walls of this room are lined with square compartments holding bundles of rolled paper scrolls. In the middle of the room, an elderly dwarf in gray robes with spectacles resting on the tip of his bulbous nose sits perfectly still behind a writing desk facing the door. The dwarf's quill is dipped halfway into an ink pot and his bloodshot eyes are fixed at a sheet of parchment in front of him. Huh. It's a library. Uh, what's on the... Is that what it's called? Yes. Um, what's on the parchment? So she's going to go look. Mm -hmm. Dear Rotten Ethel, you have requested access to ancient rituals handed down by Baba Yaga herself. Rituals that can be used to fulfill bargains. I regret to inform you that Igwilv is unwilling to share her knowledge of these rituals with you at this time. Your coven has much work to do to earn her favor. Until then, she wishes you well in your dark dealings with Mort. Uh, when do you have the unicorn horn? Uh, yeah. It's still on the quarterstaff. Do you mind? It's, like, it's like banging against the side of a bookshelf. Just kind of like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> it's tied it's, on. This is like one of those, like, it's like, like a spear now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, try saying Mort. Why? Wow. That might be his name. See if we can unfreeze him. Mort, Mort is lowercase, I will let you know. Oh, okay. Do I know if Mort means anything for, like, covens or something? Can you make me an insight check? Can I make check? an ar <laughs> <laughs> I was you gonna make, say arcana You can check? make an arcana Could check, we? yeah. You can make me an insight check, too. Well, I, mean, I rolled a nat really one. Need? Okay, uh... This guy's name is Mort. He is the, you've heard of the Dark Wizard Mort? Oh my god. 18. Wake him up. 18? Um, yeah. You've, you've written with a with a quill before, right, Nico? Yeah. He, he's dipping the ink right now. Oh. He's mid-word. He's not done. <laughs> However, Sassy, this is definitely the Dark Dwarven Wizard Mort. This is a Dark Wizard. Maybe we should wait to wake him up. He doesn't look like one. He... Oh, we could just do what we said we were going to do. It's not a finished word. He's writing a word. Oh. Uh, well, that oh, makes yes. more sense. All right. Well, yeah, let's let's find the queen. Let's find the queen. Can I make, like, an intelligence check to see if I can, like, figure out what he was writing? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, with Arcana, you're pretty sure it was mortals. Um, He's talking about mortals. Dark oh, deals with oh. mortals. Dark deals gotcha. with mortals. <laughs> Um, can I check to see if there are any other parchments? 
absolutely yeah there are uh, quite a few uh searching the room you're going to see that uh one after the other you're grabbing these scrolls and like and, like yeah. looking at them yeah these are contracts these are packs made with warlocks and transcripts of conversations, all written in... Wait, do, do you speak... What languages do you speak? Sylvan, um... Let me see here. Celestial, Elven... So, in a, so you have no idea what this says, but uh. it's very it's very ornate. It's very... Uh. Like, it looks like heavy metal script. Like someone threw a bunch of twigs on the page. Just... Gotcha. Hmm. Like, Sassy, you speak heavy metal. One. I know, I was gonna say Sassy will, uh, uh, wander over. What are you looking at there, Luthien? Scrolls. She'll pass one to her. And keep looking. Ah, Infernal. The Dark Language. Uh, what does it say? So, uh, uh, as, as I said, it contains contracts, packs made with warlocks, and transcripts of conversations. All in the Infernal script. Um, uh, as well you are going to see that like it basically is like Zabilna was wiretapping her her enemies oh uh -huh. like you're finding like like do you just like pull out a random scroll yeah okay one sec one sec um uh you pull out a a missive between uh someone named Igwil and Morden Kaiden a a oh. wizard of some note Check. I think not. Okay. Checkmate. I think not. You're not thinking three-dimensionally, my dear Igwilf. Well, you're not thinking mm -hmm. fourth-dimensionally. I've already won this chess match. It seems like they're playing 3D chess on, like, a lazy Sunday afternoon. In fact, you can see that it's, like, 200 years ago. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah, here's this person who sold their soul for a Klondike bar. I don't know what that is, but... Mm. Uh, there's another There's another similar message uh, that, that you'll be able to poke through as well if you want. Like, a couple of other phones. Yeah, yeah uh, let's go. Sure, there's, um, there's one that says... Um, <clears throat> Dear Lysithian Emissary of the Nine Hells, thank you for the fruit basket. It was excellent to receive such a present from Asmodeus himself. However, I do not prefer plums if it comes up in the future. Also, everything was burnt because it's from hell. Thank you. Yours, Igwilf. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Dear, dear Mr. Wick. We hope you enjoy this replacement hellhound. Please stop using my mother's name. <laughs> Signed, oh Igwilf. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I mean, these just look like transcripts. I don't think we're going to find anything interesting. There's some real hot goss in here, but uh, otherwise they're not. Um, shall we? Mm -hmm. Great. Clearly, Igwilf is some kind of emissary to Baba Yaga, which we kind of knew already. Uh huh. Yes. But I mean, everybody seemed to like her, and they want that back. I just want to put here. something out there. She hmm. keeps throwing around her true name. Who throws around their true name? I mean, doesn't that seem dangerous? Of... Can I make a roll to see if that sounds dangerous? Everyone else's to me? true name. I said sure, make Nico's account. name. I that, suppose... that was her true oh, name. But that's... But, but, I would counter with Nico is not actually... Nico, are you from around here? I guess yeah. you are from around here. No, I am. Hmm. Um, well, that's dangerous. Oh, I, I mean, no if idea. they already knew her what name, What if Zabilna is her actual true name and Igwilf's not her actual true name, so she just can't play in mind games? Have we considered she is, in fact, two people within one and saying which name we want to come back will come back? I mean, we can try that. We can start with Sibylna and then go to Eggwolf. I don't think um, we have... I don't actually know what I would uh, roll. Uh, so, Arcana? I mean... I got four. A four? Is there a limit on can how I, much we can, can use Can I use inspiration? Yes, yeah, you may. Is there a limit on, on what were you asking, uh, Wynn? How much we can use the horn. And I was no. asking that as Wynn. 
Oh, sorry. Then you don't know. I don't think so. I think we just could go around freeing everyone if we knew their <sighs> name. That's fair. You know, I'm going to use my determination. Okay, 16. What you, 16? Yeah. So, throwing around your true name can be dangerous depending on, on who you're, who gets a hold of it. I will say, the people that have known her true name were, seem to be trusted people, though. This is obviously a scribe working for her. Mm-hmm who seems to be handling things on her behalf. But... I don't know. You're, there, there's, there's, something, there's something up here. Like, there's something sincerely up. And you're... you're yeah, maybe her real name's actually Mort. Um, but uh, you, you're, you're gonna get the inkling that something is definitely up. Okay. Have we considered that she's Baba Yaga? I mean, I swear of being that her maybe she. Uh, maybe then she'll, she'll always a favor. Depends on what she looks like. Because we've did we seen not hear Baba Yaga in a portrait? Yes, we did. In a portrait, it doesn't mean she's dead. If she's in the portrait, she's still alive. But yeah, she might yeah, be frozen, but, but we yes. know what she looks like. We know what she looks like. She's a high everything. She can look however I she wants. So. Has also... she not been missing ever since Zabilna took over? That's what the hags were mad about, was because they weren't hearing from their mother anymore. Mm. I don't True. remember. Uh... Also, if I remember right, wasn't the the hag that I dealt with like pretty hot? But DM can tell me otherwise. It was pretty hot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, the hag that uh, transported Nico. Oh yeah, was, yeah. Rosili was pretty hot. Yeah, she was pretty hot. So I was like, and Rizzili... yeah. So hags can be hot. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. hags can be hot. So whether she... I'm just saying. And did Rosili not say that she hadn't heard from Baba Yaga in a while, despite? Her being Brazilian's patron. Hmm. Certainly might she certainly might have said something, and I'm sure that was a long time ago. But I Ooh, feel like that's what you know, Stone really fucks with your brain. Did you ever know that? Who knew? Who knew? I remember I remember hearing that they ever since Isabelna was captured, that's when the issues with the carnival happened when the hags came to this domain. It was after Sibilna was captured. That's kind of what I'm saying. Alright, not to throw everything we think we know into question, but I'm just not... I mean, convinced. everybody in the realms that we encountered that was not a bad person seemed to like Sibilna. She was mm -hmm. the one that so was holding Prismir she together. She seemed to look after the area pretty well. And the common people liked her. So let's maybe just put all the questioning aside and just do what we came to do. I mean, we did make a promise. I believe our questioning is how to bring her back, because if we don't have the right name. Well, we well, just why, don't we, why don't we just try Igwil, try Sibylna, and if they both don't work, then we're fucked. Now we can try Baba Yaga. Then we can try Baba Yaga, and then if that's a problem, that's a problem. I mean, good but... point that we at least we know to try yeah. if it doesn't work the first time. We'll run through our options. Yeah. All right. We'll keep Sounds trying good. names till we get the right one. Right. Um, I, I was gonna pull out. My, I, I was gonna grab my brother again. <laughs> oh yeah, here you go. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> hey. Hey. What do you make of all this? You've been here a lot longer. Sorry, you've been okay. here a lot longer than the rest of us, obviously. I Does... only ever knew her as Igwil. I mean, and, and Zabilna, but Igwil was the only other name I knew. That doesn't seem, like, suspicious. Did she seem haggy at all? She could be moody. But, I mean, you know, what powerful woman isn't? Don't even get me started with powerful men. I'm not being sexist. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Mm. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. But, all right. Uh, well, I let's start heading... The unicorn uh -huh. horn doesn't have charges, though, so, you know, well, have fun. Actually, so... Mm, eh? You've been here. 
Where is she likely to be? From when it happened? Um, the throne room? Or her bedroom? Or maybe the ballroom? Okay, well, the throne room's that way. Well, the ballroom's right the there. Wall. Oh, okay. Well, let's Start go there, the then. the ballroom and work our way? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, do you t open the north door or the west door? Uh, let's try the west door. It's right across from us, literally. I think. No, right. north door. North. I know directions. Wind totally <laughs> knows directions. Okay. Uh, opening the north <laughs> door. Uh, opening the north door, uh, you will find an absolutely demolished ruined stateroom. Uh, that with a huge, like, just open, um, uh, open air area that leads into the next room, which you will see is the ballroom. Do you head that direction? Yeah. I mean, you sure? Yeah. Okay. Is there a bunch of frozen people? Well, let's find out. <clears throat> a grand ballroom lies before you. The northern part of the floor littered with the splintered remains of three doors that have been knocked from their hinges, leaving openings through which you can see adjoining rooms. Throughout the ballroom, royal courtiers stand motionless, their eyes fixed on a black iron cauldron atop a dais in the middle of the chamber. Dark vapors rise from the cauldron and a huge, huge indentation is in the ground around it, as well as the scales of a dragon that have been hastily sloughed off. A huge hole in the side of a bathhouse to the western wall reveals a place where the creature that had once been here could have escaped to. Two figures stand out from the rest. Now, the room is full of various fairy courtiers, quicklings, drow, elves, and even some bullywugs. But two figures stand statue-like off to one side of the cauldron. An imperious middle-aged woman with long white hair and white robes, and a younger woman clad in armor and wearing a white cape. The older woman is reaching desperately toward the cauldron while the armored woman at her side is grasping a fine-looking quarterstaff. The woman reaching toward the cauldron is older, flawless, fey, and beautiful. And without a doubt, you are staring at the face of Zabilna. What do you do? Wind's gonna start towards her. Okay. You may easily get toward her. Um, outside, you can hear uh, high above the palace, like just the barest hint of, of collateral damage. Um, Isaac's gonna just grab uh, Wind's shoulder for a second and say, Luthien, hmm. your lantern? Yes, of course. It's my Hag's putting lantern. <laughs> Does the lantern alight? The lantern? Let me just double check. Uh, the lantern works, uh, I believe, on Fey at all. Oh, okay. And especially on Hags is the way that oh, we did it. Oh, okay. That it's brighter. Um, uh, okay. The, the woman that you're looking at is, in fact, Fey, uh, yep. but she's not a hag. Um Elkhorn is going to shuffle past and go over to the woman with the red hair. Oh, mercy on. This is one of my friends. Mercy on. Hey, hey. Oh, she, yeah, she's frozen. Oh, I should have known. Should have uh, known. Do you want to... I think you should have the honor before Zabilna frees everyone. Go release your party member. Win. want to hand over the staff? Thank I, I Thank you. I appreciate it. Mercy on. And suddenly the red-haired woman will flicker to life again. Huh? What's going on? All right, shall we free the queen now? 
Yes, let's yeah, free the probably. Crow. Probably. Evil do- Yeah. Elkhorn, what are you doing here? Oh, I just, uh, I'm here to rescue you. He just you. saved you. Oh. <laughs> Queen's of Elvis and- job, too. Well, met strangers. I have no idea who you are, but- Nice um, to meet you. I'm the witch that monarch. You can call me Win. Uh, you do seem to have a glow about you. Um, Thank you. Nice to meet you. A kind. Um, I'm a mercy on, uh, a, a, um, a, a cleric of the light. Uh, the pleasure's mine. What's going on? And she looks around at all of the frozen people. What? We're about to free the kingdom. Your mm. enemy people that um, Alcon talks about a lot, they uh, froze the whole kingdom. Like, Zabilna's caught. And took over the kingdom. We'll go fix it, though. Alright. What do you do? So which name did you want me to start with? It Maybe will. will. Alright. I guess. When we'll try that. Boop. Egg wolf. Point poking her on the nose. Or on the body, wherever you're poking no, her. No, she's that. going for the nose. Okay. <laughs> and she you say boops. and you say egg wolf? Yes. Okay. The unicorn horn indents the tip of her perfect little nose. And nothing happens. Alright. Uh, Zabilna. You poke it into her nose. Nothing happens. Alright, yeah, so try shit. the third one then? Yeah. Um, what, sorry, what was the other girl's name? Mercyon? Mercyon. Uh, 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 Mercyon? Mercyon, what was the last thing you remember? Zabilna was trying to get to the cauldron to undo what the hags had done. What had the hags done? They put something in it that messed with the magic. It's uh, sorry, it's a bit of my pay grade. I'm not into into the arcanes. When do you want to go for it? Huh? Baba Yaga. Poke around the nose. Baba Yaga. Who would? Oh, fuck! Mm. Actually, when can you pass me the staff for a second? I want to try something. Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. Um, Luthien's gonna grab the staff and try to poke it by her by her heart, and she's going to try Tasha. Nothing happens. Damn it! It was a good thought. Thank Luthien. you. Well, I did find yes. True names or complete names? You'd probably know that. Mm. Okay, I'll try Natasha. I don't know. Uh. Tashi? <laughs> <laughs> so you do? say Natasha, I don't know. But, and uh -huh. as you do, purple pink light floods <laughs> the room. And suddenly, the woman standing in front of you begins to move. Once more able to move, Zabilna lurches forward a step, then quickly regains her balance. Too late, she says with a snarl. Her eyes dart around in search of enemies before fixating on you. Have we met? I mean, just now. Stories. Her long white hair kind of cascades behind her. How long has it been? Uh, long enough. And we'll look at the others. Mm -hmm. oh. I am not sure. A long time. Explain yourselves. Tell me the story. I'm curious. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, I mean, I spoke. Hi. Um, my name's Wynn. The Witchlight Monarch. Uh. As she's talking, like every 
single like heartbeat, she seems to like gain a little more composure again and starts basically like melting into like the Glinda personality. Hmm. Tell me I guess a story. it all starts with the witch like <laughs> carnival, I think, uh -huh. for all of us. Hmm. A few lost items and some I tickets. Hope you weren't fond of all three of the hags. Maybe once upon a time. There's only two left now. Oh, and they had better run. Okay, but why? I'm, that That's kind of hot, so now I want to know more. Oh, and, and by the way, the rest of your kingdom's still frozen, or at least the core. Of course. Mm -hmm. so. Allow me. And, and the League I'll of Malevolence is them, still here. My good friend, Kitsandria. You look like a friend of mine. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> You've really let yourself go. It's a really long story. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I think so, they um, might be squatting in your throne room. That will be taken care of shortly. I just want to make sure you know. Yeah. Speaking of which, Nico, um, uh, I believe uh, I gave you my watch. Can I get? Oh, oh shit! Yeah. A giant yeah. Chaos in your dining room. As you passing over the mm -hmm. watch, uh, Sassy's gonna lead it for a kiss. Oh. Oh. Sh sure. She'll accept it. <laughs> oh. Was the first one not good enough? One. She'll remember it this It was one. so good she wanted another. I suppose, mm -hmm. yeah. Sassy. Now, I, I don't do, like, committed things, <laughs> but, like, you're down. Okay, I don't know if like, this is really for me. I was just testing it again. Hey, I'm down. If, if you want to kiss, I'm down to kiss, but, like... Forever kind of things. No, 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 me neither. It's fine. I'm, I'm more into studies. Yeah. We're only saving an entire kingdom on a separate plane. You know, not, not, not support. Or and I'll probably like stay here. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It could be like a casual thing. It's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, if you want to cash, that's cool. Yeah. If you want to be cash? That's cool. But I'm sorry, but that was it was a good cash. You're getting better. Thanks. So if you want to prep. If you want to practice, I'm down to practice. Yes, I'm gonna that sit would down. be good. I'm so <laughs> gonna go and sit down on a on the floor. Isaac's gonna sit next to him. I don't know what to think, Isaac. Are good people good people or bad people good people now? Because if she's, if I think people are complex, Elcorn. Fairies, even more so. Zibilna turns and looks at you all. And you told her a decent amount of the story, kind of gave her the quick blow by blow. What's mm -hmm. happened to Prismir is an absolute tragedy. It will take time and energy to undo what has been wrought. Each of you had something stolen from you by the hags. Mm. And you've retrieved them. If you'd like, I would be happy to deputize you. I know each of their weaknesses, and I'm happy to send you to do good work. However, I know that you're probably busy. Hmm. One moment, and let's fix things. And she turns, lets her hands fly to the sky, and the cauldron will explode with energy. A wave that pulses out like a blast across all of the palace. And one by one, each of the creatures in the room are going to kind of come to their senses, unfreezing in time, creating a bit of a, a bit of a kerfuffle. In the distance, you can hear the sound of, well, someone yelling. 
and running away, the sound of that wizard that was in the throne room. Knights of Glass, protect my ass! You hear him shout. <laughs> it's not working! It was supposed to work, you boob! <laughs> this is the last time I trust hags! <laughs> the people on the ground brush themselves off. A bullywug knight pulls himself to his feet and, who I never. A couple of the pixies flutter around, aimlessly confused. Hmm. You saved me. You saved all of us. For that, I cannot thank you enough. Most importantly, you did so without destroying my cauldron, which gives me some interesting options. As a reward for your heroism, I can offer you one free casting of a wish spell. Tell me, what's your heart's desire, all of you? I'm gonna pull the doll of Lorien off my shoulder. Do you want to be a Katsadria again? Um... I mean, yeah. But he shrugs. <laughs> I mean, I assume by doing so, repercussions might be I might lose all my powers and all stuff like that because you wouldn't be the great Archfey Lorian or whatever the fuck your name became. Renard. It was Renard. It was a Renard. great. It was a good name. It's, it's it was a, a great name. No, no, no. No, bro, it's a great name. <laughs> Isn't Bernard but... Elvin for Fox? Sylvan, actually. I was Sylvan. Trying, um... I was trying not to make it too yeah. too hard to understand. Yeah, but I mean. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you're if she like Lena's like also if you're Cassandra, you have a chance with uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But Boxes it's up to are you. closer to cats than dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, true. it's true. So it's up to you. I found what I wanted, and we're back. So. But did you all find you? what you want? She smiles and looks at each of you. I mean, I did. I was awful lonely before we joined. But if we went back to the carnival, I met all of you. Why were you lonely? Yes. Well, I mean, I, I was raised in a temple, and you know. the the clumsy thing from what the hag stole really didn't help. Hmm. And you, Cecira? I was gonna say, I would like, if, I don't know if this is in the limits of what you can offer, but and I'd like some way to be able to visit my friends easily. Hmm. A teleportation? Something like that. Isaac of the Runaglig. <clears throat> uh, I found what the hags took from me. And found that I had lost other things, but those are the consequences of my own actions. Um, Luthien. I found what I had lost as well. And I found more than that, I found strength inside me to keep on keeping on. Despite 
loss, and I know that loss has made me stronger. And I found everyone here, so I'm also not alone anymore. Hmm. And yet... For each of you, the hags took away something so much deeper. It's tragic. May I ask you for a favor? Do, do, well, do sure. we still, still get things, but yeah. <laughs> I couldn't help but overhear you talking. And I know the way that the unicorn horns work. While I could just make you forget, I prefer to make a deal with you. What's the catch? You trust me to be your fairy godmother. I only have enough power for one wish. But I have an idea. You'll have to trust me, though. Alright. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Oh, I yeah. trust you. Sure. As a gold nod with a bow. And she locks eyes with you, Luthien, like kind of the deepest, like kind of lock eye possible. And as she's looking at you, you're going to see that her bright blue eyes are going to slightly darken. And you're going to see the gaze of the marionette outside of the Hall of Mirrors again. Mm -hmm. Agreed. She thrusts her hands into the cauldron. Close your eyes. You do. The world shifts around you. The music of ca a calliope draws you back to reality. The cool evening air is filled with the sweet smell of candy and the fragrant fragrances of autumn. You are all standing together. Lorian is with you as well. The six of you stand just outside of the Witchlight Carnival. Whatever age you were when you first entered, time rewound to its beginning. Each of you with all of the memories that you would ever have in front of you. A golden ticket in your tiny hands. And a lifetime to live again without the hag's interference. A lifetime with your husband, Luthien. A lifetime with your brother, Nico. A lifetime of friends, when A lifetime of music and art, Sisira. And a lifetime with your family. Isaac. But just because you have to live it all again doesn't mean you have to forget. The Witchlight Carnival comes by every eight years, after all. Plenty of time for reunions in your future. What do you do? As you stand there on the path, 
people trickling around you into the carnival. Well, we have tickets this time. Yeah. Do you want to ride some rides? Uh-huh. When really little like 12-year-old Win is going to climb Isaac. <laughs> Wynn Isaac normally is was 5'5". Five, five. Oh. Isaac is seven years old. He is I think you're still probably bigger size. than Win was. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wynn is still gonna try. I, I, she's I, gonna I, try and like get tiny little sparks in her hands and say, "All wanna go?" Yeah. Just yeah. gonna look at Lorian. Race you. You wanna go? You see the carousel? <laughs> the roller coaster, obviously. Oh, you're a big boy now. Okay. <laughs> I'm like 300 years older than you. I'm a yeah, really big it? boy. <laughs> Stupid. Yes, yes. She's gonna pat Lorian on the head. Still, absolutely. Still the an adult. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're the mom now. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll we'll eventually catch up. <laughs> uh, Isaac's gonna oh, look back right there. <laughs> uh, Isaac's gonna look back over his shoulder the way that he would have run um, when he originally ran here. Um, and look for signs of like fires or like a camp yeah there is one not that far away about probably about half a kilometer away you can see some smoke trailing into the twilight sky okay and it's not quite night not quite night yet You've okay got time. all right let's go and he's gonna bunker down and put wing up went up on his back and like a piggyback <laughs> they're about the same size but about as good I as mean, he can she only grew to be five five so <laughs> yeah, she's little she, she tiny she, wee. Oh. she has a wee little girl <laughs> and you all head into the carnival nico i'll waste you <laughs> hiya go as it go <laughs> yeah this is we're just foxies we're just mm-hmm. we're just little foxies as you run down the trail, the camera will pan and f- look up at the sky. And as you dip into the carnival, it'll dip back down again as well. And you'll hear in voiceover, I love a happy ending when it comes to rest. Because happy endings, my good friend, are the ones we love the best. And that's Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Boom. <laughs> I was holding my shit together until oh! that voiceover, oh! Kelly. <laughs> I cried top of game. You gotta cry now. I'm holding it together. I don't know about you. Uh, that uh, was so good. That was so, so good. I'm so glad I could I feel like at the baby. end of the night, Wynn would totally be like, all right, now where was your family? Yeah. And go yeah, back exactly. with them and be like, hi, my name's Wynn. Isaac was totally all right. I'm sorry I stole him for the night, but he's an awful good friend. I love that you did it without fighting the Jabberwocky. You didn't fight the League of Malevolence. You didn't get Snickersnack. And I'm so sad about it. Do you, look, look at this thing you guys could have picked. What is Snickersnack? Snickersnack, if you, if you search the place long enough, you would have gotten this. Sick. Oh, it is a uh-huh. it is a it is a vorpal great sword that anyone can oh, use. No. To be Amazing. honest, I didn't think that was gonna work. I was like, Tashi, Tasha Smasha was my next option. No, once, 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 once the first two worked, I'm like, oh, we saw portraits of Tasha. I yeah. bet it's Tasha. I was gonna suggest it until that's, you said it. I'm like, okay, yeah, I, you got it. I love that it's Tasha. That's oh, me. That's pretty that. amazing. I, I no. hope that nobody tears me apart for like being like, you probably would know it's the full name because the book's like, Tasha doesn't count. I'm like, bullshit. Everybody would know. If you know what a true name is, you know you can't just be like, hey, Neek, Neek. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nico, Nico, Nico. That was the only like full, like, yeah, name yeah. I could think of. But like you, you like Caitlin and I had been texting back and forth after games for a month. Yeah. And she's like, I think I know what her so real I name is. And I'm like, oh, do name. you? <laughs> she's well, because, like, yeah, because we got that before. Like in one of my very first notes, it was like, 
Natasha statue, and then it was like Igwilv, the Witch Queen, and then Igwilv came back up, and I was like, hmm. Yeah, so this is what she yeah, actually looks like. I had something about Tasha. Yeah. I was, I was, that's oh, why I was sad, because so I found cool. my, ooh. Yeah, and her stats are unbelievable. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, bet. Oh, I bet you. Yeah. Bet. Um, um, yeah, I have, um, where was then it? She had, yeah. Oh, you I know, that know totally about... makes sense considering the book is called Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Yeah, Tasha's Y'all... Cauldron. And then he was like, or the cauldron, and I was like, <laughs> You're like, <laughs> Dude, that is the best feeling when you're right. When and it's you're like, right. Mm, are you sure? Mm. It's like, yeah, I'm fucking sure. <laughs> yeah. I know. I've taken notes. It's the best feeling. Right? Yeah. I mean, I kind of deliberately did not take too many notes through this. A, because I did start losing track and was too involved in what I was doing to take notes in the moment. But yeah. I also figured, you know what? Wynn's not going to remember. <laughs> well, so well to be so perfectly cool honest, cauldron. that's a cool like, cauldron. It is two Those forms. Those are sick. That's is sick. That on is the two- I love I was, this little... I'll, I'll send, I love I was, that it has a stat block. I'll send, I'll send, yeah. you, a, uh, I'll send you a photo of it. I was yeah, just looking please, at honestly, like I was looking through my notes and I specifically I remember now I specifically didn't take notes about that being Tasha because you oh. knew what it was and nobody I else knew what did. it was. I didn't tell anybody. So, yeah. Well, it didn't it, seem relevant at the time. Exactly. Yeah. And like it makes sense. Tales came up the only one. with yeah. uh, with what's her face? Skilla. Yeah. yeah. Skrillex. 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 So. <laughs> Skrillex? Uh wow they've these people have been 3D printing this thing for di- as a dice tray that's that's great oh, oh I bet that'd be such cool. a fucking awesome it's, dice it's tray it's pretty great so it's the brass version uh so there are a lot of different ways to to beat this I actually really love this ending and the the ending where they're like oh you're kids again I I was like the moment so like. Good. The moment oh. I knew that like Luthien lost her husband because of this like Nico lost her brother What's because that? of this um like. Isaac lost his dad and like the rest of you like had a childhood of loneliness because of this. I'm like, oh, it's gotta be, it's gotta be that ending. Like it really, like it, <laughs> I it love has that. to be. It uh, was really great. It's, I'm glad you liked it. There, there's one thing now that I'm gotta sad. wait like 20 years and then go back and find his heron gone. And... Yeah. Okay. Look, notes from session well, two. I you have. might have to go relive Eagle, the entire adventure the with all your queen. powers now. It might be the new game plus. Mode. Tasha went by that. <laughs> I have that from episode two. Eagle yeah, the yeah. witch queen. Tasha went by that. Oh, yeah, in, shit. Um, episode two. Yeah, bitches. that was because yeah. the magic, um, the magic mirror. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Where to... people were like had Tasha's hideous laughter. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, there are two. There are two other cool things that you guys didn't get to do. Number one, there are glasswork golem soldiers that Kellek can have fight you. Oh, and cool. literally, the thing he has to chant, and this is in the book, to get them to fight is "Knights of Glass, protect my ass." Oh and my I'm god! Like, I'm like, Actually, I, I can't not that's use that's this. So good. And um, that's so fun. There's another room inside of here that's full of like, oh. Damn it. No, they were. They were in the ballroom. Um, so inside of the ballroom as well, uh, I didn't describe this, but there were some other people in the room. And you can see in my notes. Cool. Oh. 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 So they were in the back of the room there, just oh. off camera. But oh. you weren't investigating so much. And like it was, yeah, like Harwar was there. Because what does he need more Harwar? Oh. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I wear that shirt all the heck in time. It's a great <laughs> shirt. Like, not just it's plugging really your own It's really comfy. It's um, a really comfy shirt. It's one of my favorite t-shirts. So, it's got a very great fit, so follow us on Tee Public. Go buy from our shop. <laughs> uh, do we want to take a quick break and then uh, come back and chat a little bit? I wouldn't sure. mind to. I would sure. like to quickly take off my makeup because it's 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 just I have streaks in my face that's now. Sound, that sounds good. <laughs> so, folks, we're gonna go to the washroom and and de makeup, and we'll be back in like five ish if we can do that. Yeah, uh, yeah I can so, do five. So, uh, we'll be back in just a minute for for that, and then of course, don't forget to come back next week for how to run wild beyond the witchlight. Because <laughs> we gotta do that. We gotta do the whole thing. Uh, uh, yeah, you might as well. Might as well. Uh, and then you can come and just chat with us, Hayden. It'll be great. I've I've freed up the next three weeks for you. I know Monday, we freed so. up so much time for you. Oh my that, goodness! Oh, yeah, we I, we weren't sure how long it was gonna take, so I was like, I can give you three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it was it was. A oh lot my of god! Fun. Does that mean you have three Mondays, f- or two Mondays free? Yeah. <gasps> I mean, we I'm, have like, I'm glad that this was a gift we could give to you for that. 
I'm like, let's wrap it now. And then Hayden's got two Mondays. You think I'm actually <laughs> free those days? You think I'm not oh. doing 10 billion other things because <laughs> I- free. Well, But well, it means I that you get to take the evening evenings. off. You get an Wait, evening. No, 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 no. What we should do is we should like- Hang have out the how to <laughs> next week and then have a party the next there week. You know. Yeah. I mean, our fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. We could do a. We could do have like, a Zoom party. A we Zoom could do party. the uh, Jackbox. Or Zoom party or do yeah. the Jackbox. I thing. really, yes. since this is the last, the last thing I'm going to need this for, I kind of want to rip it to pieces, but it might be horrifying. So I don't know if I should wait until we're off camera. <laughs> I think probably wait till we're off camera. Okay. Um, but, uh, I'll... <laughs> It's, it's, It'll be in the Zoom recording, so if we want to share it with people under like not safe for work content. <laughs> oh my god, that's awful. All right, uh, so I for... kind of feel like you should just mount it though on like one of those white styrofoam heads. Uh, okay, do you know where it's been living? <laughs> yes, well, mount it and mount it on your wall. All right, let's not let's not mount not anything afraid. on camera. We're gonna take a quick break, folks. We'll be right back. Everybody, welcome back. Hi. We are here with uh, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, which is over. Well, let's get rid of your determination. It's also been spent. Oh, oh. I, so I don't know that I ever actually used my inspiration once I got it. <laughs> yeah, I keep thinking, I kept thinking that inspiration was a one time thing. So I was like, I already used it. And then it was like, once a game. And I was like, oh, yeah. shit, fuck. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll stop giving it out. I think I'll just stop. I'll stop being nice about it. I've been too nice. <laughs> I just wasn't used to having it in this because the mm -hmm. longest time I didn't have it. So that kind of, I think, translated over mm -hmm. to other games I kept forgetting about because I knew I couldn't have it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, folks, oh. we're in the just chat portion. We just finished our campaign. Congrats. <laughs> Uh, so uh we are going to do another episode next week where we do how to run wild beyond the witch light kind of a retrospective of the entire show um the entire book and some tips and tricks so if you have any questions please let us know about that but right now um there are going to be some spoilers right now so if you're worried about wild beyond the witch light or you don't want to be spoiled spoilers are coming uh so quick question uh anybody have any questions about this anybody have anything they want to be uh to be anything you want to know about i kind of is there a way to not shot in the dark that last one yes so if you if you had gone up the beanstalk there are a few other ways to find out so some oh. of them are bullshit okay <laughs> but uh let me give you a couple of examples um if you go up the beanstalk there is because i was uh, like honestly yeah i didn't think it was either of those that i was like <laughs> But that's there, all we know. <laughs> there's a toad up the beanstalk that is actually her familiar, and is oh my god! It's it's actually a method. Oh, not a I love me him already. It's not a method. It's a um, hold on. I'm just finding the right page. I was like, not methods again. We had enough of that nice wooden nail. Oh my god, those guys suck <laughs> oh so god. much. Oh so god. many methods. Um, secret too library laboratory talking too door many methods too many methods we had methods appear in t uh the nether deep during in the fields of basil and i was like fucking methods i hate them yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. also yeah. For, i'm i i apologize to uh, i'm sure the raid is very confused i was just wearing a prosthetic <laughs> that i just ripped off my face in a very violent fashion uh, so i have <laughs> tiny chunks of foam latex all over my face and so i'm working on that so don't mind me over here with my uh micellar water <laughs> that has completely disappeared into the background um my, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not uh, so basically her uh her familiar is a a creature of some kind Igret uh, the closet 
the closet. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, thank uh, little awkward girl in the Twitch chat. Thank you very much. Little, little awkward girl knows everything about this module. Like, like <laughs> they know more than That's I do. That's so cute. Yeah. Um, so Love there, there are a couple of things upstairs uh, that will give you uh, the info. Number one, uh, if you tell the closet that you're just going to go rescue her, he'll he'll be like, "Oh, you use Natasha." <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That would have been easy. <laughs> Number two, that probably would have been pretty easy because we would have told them. <laughs> if you go yeah. upstairs yeah. and go into, there's a costume room, and there are quite a few costumes. Huh. Uh, there's a mannequin of, Ooh. so anybody who saw the mannequin of Tasha in the glass cabinet will recognize there is a child's cape um, that uh, is like a child's witch dress. Uh, and, oh, pardon me. There, no, it's, um, there are eight mannequins. Uh, each of these outfits are different. One is a child's witchy dress. Uh, one is a flamboyant off the shoulder dress for her Tasha persona. One is her oh. dark, sexy Igwilv outfit and so on and so forth. But if you check, I like this character a lot. But if you check the kid's cape, it has Natasha stitched on the inside. Oh, adorable. That's really cute. cute. Really cute. Um, and then there's the one that's bullshit, which is if you go to so in another room upstairs, this is where you might not want to want to let her out. She's horcruxed herself. Uh Ooh. and so there is a fly's buzz throughout this chamber, and the grimy marble floor is ca crawling with maggots. Eight wicker cradles stand upright in the filth. Lashed to each cradle is a three-foot-long curved wooden pole with a mobile consisting of three ornaments dangling on top of it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Small misshapen creatures nesting in the cradles reach toward the symbols with their claws but can't quite grab them. Um, there are eight manifestations of Zabilna's darkest, darkest emotions. Oh. Ooh. And Does that it, go along with her crystallized desire to help? Yes. People? So the one is the crystallized. So ah. the crystallized desires are actually creepy as hell. When she founded this this um uh this domain, domain of of not domain of dread uh this domain of delight, those her crystallized desires are creatures she sacrificed to cement the realm into existence. Oh. And you found oh. the one that was the blink dog. Oh, now I didn't. I I don't remember whether or not they willingly gave their lives, but uh, uh, she she she's a complex Still. character. Um, yeah, yeah. She she is a very fey creature. However, if you look, each one of the um, each one of these dretches, like these bad feelings, has um, uh, they have elvish script uh carved into one of the mobile items, and if you check them, they spell Zabilna together um, yes a uh, little aqua girl is right if you look at the outline of the map for the carnival seven creatures point at each other and spell natasha oh my god no way yeah but you'd have to have really? access to that map to really get it and that's the the problem of it so like uh what what oh is it oh my um, god like, that's cool uh, though it is really cool. cool like they they really went overboard that's super with this. creative yeah I love that they give you so many options, like just in case you go yeah. a different way. I think that's really smart. So it's, it feels less um, railroady that way because sometimes that can happen in modules where it's like you have to go to this place, otherwise they're kind of mm -hmm. screwed. That happened, so I like that they give you so many that options. Rests. That happens so many times. I mean, that's one of the reasons that I'm not a fan of Curse of Strahd because it's mm -hmm. always like, oh, if you don't have like detect magic prepped, you're stuck. It's like in in yeah. this in this place. Like if you don't have knock inside of the Palace of Heart's Desire, you're in trouble because you'll just have to spend tons of time going back and forth, um, like resetting things and like doing the crown challenge, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll give everybody determination for that determination by. Um, but like, <laughs> but yeah, they have the redundancies, like um. You guys were uh, so Hayden. You missed this one, but last game they mm. they went to a Mad Hatter's brunch, basically, and Hell they're yeah. on the table. There's mm. a present on it that nobody's opened because they're not rude enough to open somebody else's present. But it has all of your names on it, and if you open it, it is a chime of opening. So ten charges of knock, and it says, "Oh, thank you very much for for the hospitality." Signed, Sir Talibar. Nice. So and this, so, this yeah. So I I will say that. Even though we used the thing, 
the thing casts knock. So we should oh, have Oh, I been, see. Yes. Yeah. Really so loud. We should have had that loud noise. I well, it okay. kind of casts knock. So tribe of opening doesn't actually say that it casts knock in the in the okay. Oh, okay. So it it basically does the same thing. So it just it makes a loud dong noise. It's kind of vague as to what it, it does the same effect as knock, but it doesn't say okay. as per <laughs> knock. Right? Oh, okay. So I, I wasn't sure. Yeah, the way you said that was they have charges of knock, and I said, oh, okay. Well, in that case, yes, we should have. For, for ease of operations, that's what I said. Fair. I also okay. want to clarify yes. one thing because people are going to ask me about this. Pixies saved Strongheart before he fell to his death. Had you opened the door to the south, you would see that. So okay. The, there's the, the throne room, and then there's a study above it. Uh, Warduke and st the head of Valor's Call were having a fight, and Warduke's like, suck on this, and hits him with a blasting rod <gasps> that knocks oh. him through the wall, and he got frozen in time midway into the thunder thing, like the thunder oh, pit. Oh, God. Whoa. So he's frozen in air above it, you know. Um, and technically, when Zabilna undid time, he probably would have fell to his death and died. Um, but I'm going to say Pixie saved him because nice. she, she sensed it or something. And she's just that powerful. Um, other things that are fun is, um, that, uh, what else do they have? Oh, um, had you searched through the servants quarters, you would have found that there were a pair of, a pair of rings inside there that were um there were uh uh there there i wrote a lot in pen in this book a lot of references to other games on dork tales <laughs> oh yes <laughs> so i don't know if i want to spoil this one yet Aww. but let's just say a pair of there were a pair of rings found that were uh they were very large rings usually worn on the thumbs but uh, as some cultures, particularly like strong working people, <gasps> tend to use. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. Let's see what else. You can also, um, I also put a special note that the cake, you can either feed it. By the way, that uh, Fomori, you can hook him up with the beekeeper. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that side. Yeah. Oh, you can hook them up together. Um, I also had what else did I write into this thing? There were a bunch of dumb things. I was trying to write Harwar into the like all over the place, but I can only do it once. Um, so what other? I don't. Is this? I don't know if this is a question for the how to run, but what were the other endings that we could have gotten? So there, there are a couple of other endings. I was worried that like I almost triggered one as an NPC because I feel like um, Strongheart or not Strongheart, uh, Elkhart, Elkhorn would have been like. Well, you you're the you're the bad one then, eh? Um, you know, and so on. Oh. Um, and uh, so there are a couple of ways this works. So, uh, quick quick spoiler warning: I'm about to spoil some stuff. Uh, so Zabilda <laughs> comes alive, and um, things best left unsaid. If the character speak to Zabilda slash Igwil about her past, her mood suddenly darkens. She erases your memory of ever knowing that she was Igwil or Tasha, and there's Ooh. no save. She's just done. It's like no. Damn. Oh um, damn. Uh, and then she's like, thanks for the help. Bye. Pip, pip. Um, <laughs> the, the three hags of the hourglass coven, two of them were in the palace. Oh, oh, uh, Endelin and Bavlorna. Uh, if you had gone to the other side of the building, were arguing about whose fault it was. And that, uh, that this was probably that it was all Scabatha's fault. But also, so is that, is she that, wasn't there. So. so in in the book, is it just the surviving hags? The surviving hags go to the okay. palace to regroup. Uh, and so they are there. And and uh, if you encounter them, they try to talk their way out of it. And the moment that they feel the time effect in, they both go go back to Gehenna. Where uh, uh, this is my this is one of my favorite parts of the book. So if the hags do that, where is it? It is on that side of the building bathing room round table freeing zabilna uh it's on the main floor um so if they do that they pop i just need to, I need to look at the damn map is what i need to do they are in second floor at not the sludge filled tower that's a bad tower you guys didn't even fight zargash you guys didn't fight anybody kind of fun we were pretty tough vision. I'm like, I, <laughs> I rolled once this last game, and it was to decorate a cake. 
and <laughs> I, I think that's great. It's amazing. Um, I rolled. So I'm a little it. mad. I say mad. I'm not. But I rolled so fucking good on my like uh, hit dice for leveling. <laughs> oh I was my rolling God. six sevens and eights the entire time. I rolled nice. nothing lower. Oh, nice. and I was like, this is the best I've ever rolled on fucking health. And I didn't use it. I'm fine because I'm I'm cool. But I was like, man, man. Nice. man. Um, I had so good help as a warlock. It was great. <laughs> you brought you you brought it all together. It was great. Um, so um, if only one hang is present, blah blah blah. Um, otherwise the characters do what they do best. Um, the hags use this, uh, they try to deceive the bar- oh wait, it's right at the end, I just skipped over it. Uh, so, uh, the surviving hags can sense when Zabilna is released from temporal stasis, or rather they can sense when their hold on Prismere is lost. The instant Zabilna regains control over the domain, the hags use plane shift to flee to Gehenna, where they remain in a cramped tower guarded by Yugoloth mercenaries. They don't think Zabilna's aware of the tower, but her spies learned about it some time ago. Uh, and if the characters want to go hunt them down, she gives you their location and a way to get to them. <laughs> Oh shit! Um, oh wow! Amazing. Um, yes. And uh, Zabilna takes no immediate action against the surviving hags, preferring to let them stew in exile. Um, if all three hags are still alive, the coven stays together, even though its members constantly blame one another for their failures. Uh, they're united by their fear of Zabilna, but they live in torment, dreading the day when she seeks to inflict punishment on their wretchedness. My God. Oh. It's so good. Um, Valor's Call on the leave of League of Malevolence. Valor's Call are very bummed out that Zabilna's Igwil, but they'll, they're will they willing to finish working with her and take out the League. The League, get the hell out of there. Um, uh, Shia orders you to give back the Cauldron and Snickersnack if you got those throughout play, but anything else is fair game. She... she will uh will bequeath anything to you i kind of glossed over that because it didn't really seem like it was the most important thing at that moment mm -hmm. yeah. um lost children any uh any children that got lost inside of prismere or returned home um that's something okay. we didn't play as much because i know a lot of people are uncomfortable with like abandoned children but that includes mm -hmm. the ones who are like part of the lost the lost boys over in thither like they all get mm -hmm. sent back home finally um and then if the cauldron's destroyed She's bummed, uh, but she can repair it pretty easily. Uh, if you kill more than three of her dretches, um, she is very mad at you. Of her um, dretches. And the, the things in the... The, the, the Horcruxes. Versions of her. Oh! So they gotcha, actually gotcha, have, gotcha. They have a thing in here. Like, if you go and kill her, her, baby, her baby demons, basically. Oh. Because it's D&D, &D and you have to prep for that like what if the players kill all of her negative emotions meaning they I'm go back there. into her so oh gotcha um so and then besides that uh she gives you a wish of any wish but only once right yeah but so yeah that's that's basically that um but the to be young ending is just is just the best it's, it's so good and it yeah. means that you can just you can have the same adventure again because time is weird or you don't have to if you don't want to it's up to you i Th think we should all grow up and be an adventuring party one day <laughs> i think so you yep. call yourself tasha's besties Aww. Aww. Ta beautiful Friends of besties tasha. beautiful no. besties tasha's beautiful besties tasha's party of everything <laughs> she's party of everything it is a little uh, bit of everything i love it nope. it's really yep. good also robin i sincerely apologize for sinking your ship <laughs> it's okay i didn't know man i i honestly oh. sassy is a bit ace so she just wanted to like give it back so she was like, like i'm gonna try this <laughs> i don't know because i'm like i as Miko was like, Miko feels a little bad, but she's like, I don't want her to get like attached. Cause I don't do like forever things. Nice. She's more just kind of into hookups. No, 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 no. Like, Sassy is also like, I don't know, but I'm gonna try this again, but I'm kind of like, maybe I'm ace. <laughs> so Sassy's like, like this, again. this is this is the thing you're supposed to do at the end of a fairy tale, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That yeah. was kind of her thought. Just, just following <laughs> the, the script. 
the, yeah. the ace <laughs> following the script an a story <laughs> <laughs> um anybody else have any more questions about tonight or anything else uh nico did you like did you like that your brother was your patron yes oh. you, you told me you told me straight up you're like you're gonna really like what i'm doing i'm like oh, okay. i thought i thought you'd like it i'm sorry it was kind of sudden but i was like i don't know how much long how long i have you for and i was seeding it slowly when you had to when you had to drop and i'm like ah, god damn it yeah. i know i'm sorry it's okay it's okay so long as like no it's just... i loved it i'm yeah. also a dumb twat and i never would i never would have put fox and renard Renard being front for fun. Yeah. I'm thinking about 10 billion other things yes. at all times. So I'm like, and I also wasn't uh, note taking this campaign because Nico. Mm. Nico doesn't note. Nico's not like, like, which is hilarious that she's packed with the tome, but. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's like a oh. smutty romance novel. It's like. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's The Court of Thorns and Roses. Is it? Is that Jill? good? I need, to start, I need a new book. Dude. Bro, it's so good. Is it gonna it's make me want to run? A, is it gonna make me want to run a game? Maybe yes, maybe no. I Once up... you hit the end of the, you're still glitching. I know. Uh oh, they're frozen. Oh no, they we lost frozen. Hayden. Oh no, not again. No, <laughs> we just got them back. Hold on. Oh, you're back. There oh, they are. Hello. Someone said Hayden. Hi. So, so we, once you get to. Once you get to the second book, Court of Mist and Fury. Sorry, I'm on Spectrum Internet. And <laughs> um, the moment my husband started using the internet, my Wi-Fi decided to shit itself. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think I think it was probably Cat's Rabbit that did it, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. It was Vincent. 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 Oh, Vincent. Oh, Vincent. Um, but, um, yeah, no, it, it's a good, good book series, and I'm... I'm glad I got to come back for the. I didn't know tonight was gonna be the finale. Well, fucking, I didn't either. Why, I, like, I, get, like, I thought we get two. I thought we get at least two. But that's why. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I was like, okay, maybe. Oh, maybe we should go upstairs. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like no. I think it also just felt that we'd already gotten to the end of that hallway, so it was like, well. It wouldn't make sense for us to just turn around and leave when there's doors we right there that we could check. Yeah. 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 As um yeah, and I get that. I was gonna I was like, okay, if nobody guesses Tasha, then like we're gonna have to keep going until you figure it out. Like and or yeah. until you yeah, just yeah. or until you get the flame sword and you destroy the cauldron, or until you go and like do all of the stuff that you can do like th this this adventure is so packed with stuff i'm surprised mm -hmm. that like i feel like there were a couple of places we probably could have gone a little bit slower but overall like 25 games yeah felt about right mm -hmm. and that's also the other thing is like yeah we'll have one more episode so it'll end up being 26 mm. but mm. oh like we ended play on episode 25 which feels very round and good and well, it'll, <laughs> it'll i like be, counting yeah, by followers it'll be 31 episodes is a good number, though. with session zero and all of the how to's oh gotcha so it, an indivisible number yes just good. like us mm. also 13 reversed Whoa. also very good that's pretty good <laughs> there is so much numerology in this um <laughs> but uh it's it's pretty interesting there's one thing in the book that i you you kind of you guessed about that i actually when i was reading this chapter and like really deep diving it to make sure that i got everything because it's a very dense chapter there's a room with jars of time inside and what happens oh. is whenever they whenever you touch it shows you your past present and future and that's cool and, and tasha's the last one to touch them so you see tasha Zabilna, and oh. then, and I'm like, holy shit! Oh, oh. <laughs> like, like that's what I, that's where my mind went with this is that is gotcha. Tasha Baba Yaga, and this is just like, you know, crazy time foolery, yeah. where she mm. went back in time be? and became her own warlock. Because don't do that, damn it! I'm doing that for Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is, but I was very much like, oh. Interesting. Ooh. 
would have been That's inter- a cool idea right it yeah. would have been interesting to to have you all touch it and stuff but uh i like the yeah, way this one actually hmm. the reason um i know that um krista was like oh well you know if they're fey they can make themselves look like anything and that's more why luthien was more convinced she was tasha because she didn't look like tasha she didn't look mm. like anything she mm-hmm. had seen of tasha but yeah. then she was like oh they, they can make their faces they different. can make their face look yeah. different <laughs> no. it could look like and if she's want. already trying to like hide her name and stuff she'd yeah obviously exactly want to hide her face too mm. yeah i love that she just is basically like terms of servicing all of these like prospective warlocks yeah it's very good <laughs> like did you read the tos mm, no you just click through mm, mm, sorry <laughs> <laughs> all right you know what's kind of crazy hmm I was just mm. looking at my Google calendar and noticed that today was the last iteration of which light I had in my calendar. That's fucking wild. Oh my God. Because <laughs> I, 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 I just before July. Numbers. I know it's amazing. And like, oh, you know what? We're going to celebrate uh, Prismere's Independence Day on the 4th. Oh my god. Oh my Today god. we celebrate Prismere's Independence Day. Viva Prismere. Viva, Viva Prismere. Prismere. Go buy that shirt. Oh, we did, I did yeah. make shirts for this one, you Christine. You did make yeah. shirts. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, the Viva Prismere. Prismere. Thanks for the raid. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, um, uh, Yeah, I forgot. That shirt actually is pretty cool. And, oh, and custard yeah. damage. Which, which is a big seller. Damage. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I sell a lot of custard damage. <laughs> I, right? I actually might buy myself a custard damage shirt. Not that I need more clothing, but I will probably buy myself one because I like the I, I like the shirts from Tee Public. Like, like the, I wear my are nice shirt. shirts. I am the, wearing the fuck out of that shirt. And I'm like, I'm wearing it. Always get the one. Heathers. The Heathers are just really <laughs> nice. Um, Hayden, did, were you around when... I found out that I'd sold like five needs more Harwar mugs to somebody in Vermont. No, oh, like, what the fuck? Yeah. like so I well, it turns out Harwar is just like this like Welsh Celtic name, right? So I think someone uh-huh. just like Googled like or went on T Public and went Harwar, and we popped up. <laughs> so they were like, "Holy shit, this is a Bort moment." <laughs> that's amazing. Bort's my name too. You know, like one of the hair. Oh, that's fair. Oh, so I, Isaac had a hair too. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do love that Nico's brother was like, hey, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Oh, yeah. oh come on. Yeah. Every well, Kitsadra is, is also is a totally pan poly. Oh, yeah. Pan poly, or in the case of my friend Carrie's Kitsadra, super ace and trying to figure, much yeah. like Sassy, trying to figure herself out. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, <laughs> they're very all or nothing. Yeah, yeah. you are, buddy. Kitsadra are very just kind of. They're chaotic, so there's no like, yeah. you know. There you go, oh. buddy. So Buddy's one of the ones who bought the uh, Viva Prismere. Viva Prismere. Yes. Viva um, Prismere. Oh, I really want that one. So yeah. if you actually, you know what, we're gonna be putting in an order soon for for like team stuff soon. Yes. So, so oh. yeah. Um. So we'll get some stuff. Uh. If you are gonna order from T Public, uh, for one, use the biggest freaking code you can find. Like use Honey or something to just look for the forty percent code because it's always yeah. there. It. I don't care. Just do it. You just get the good codes. Um, but if you have the option, get the blended Heather shirts. Oh. The the regular shirts in Heather are as good as like because Kat got a couple that were like the super expensive, like triple weave, like bougie ones. Yeah. And like the cheap ass Heather ones are nicer. Yeah. And they they're cost thinner, like thinner, but they're not, they yeah, nicer. but they're like 12, 12 bucks cheaper yeah, exactly. or something like that. It's mm-hmm. like hell yeah, and that's US, right? So that's like fifty dollars yeah. Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> um so yeah does anybody have anything else they want to say no just i'm i'm really really glad that i got to come back for yes. the next like couple of weeks um mm-hmm. that my schedule is open enough i had a lot of shows like wrapping and projects were like either wrapped or on hold so i was like i can make it work yes. i can make um, the next three monday really really glad that i got to be here and that i got to surprise at least most of you krista yeah. Um, <laughs> just too smart okay it's true you're brilliant um, you are. so but uh, I'm, I'm glad i got to surprise y'all oh, um, speaking of so surprises good. though um three of us know about this already but caitlin procured Ooh. a surprise for all of us that we haven't had a chance to send down to you or get to krista since krista moved back to the mainland uh caitlin take it away 
<laughs> um, so I was looking for Witch Way, like something that so it was called like a Witch Way Lantern, Witch Light thing on Google, but I didn't find it. But what I did find was that Etsy is a wonderful, marvelous place <laughs> and someone makes Witch Light Carnival tickets. Oh my goodness, those are so cute! Yes, you That's have it! So good! So they're all different colors and they say attractions, special event. And stuff oh, like that. Oh, that's so cool. That's so freaking cool. Carnival games. And you have a, yeah. I, think, I think you have the green one coming your way because Nico's green. Amazing. <laughs> the magic and stuff. The magic oh, I'm, I'm... green. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think Frank's Robin right. has both of ours because they yeah. were in her wallet for safekeeping and then we forgot about them. No, I think I gave them to Kelly, I believe. I didn't want to take them back because I didn't have anything that could take them safely. Oh, yeah, so we should grab them tonight. Yeah, so they yeah, are kind of, they're kind of thick, thick, uh, thick cardstock. That was really oh, cute. Really, really, really cute. Along and they're super stickers, sparkly. Because I put stickers in um, so Sassy good. to give. Uh, then they I are, did not they have are, those. They are hidden in something then. So yes, because they're I, somewhere. I, They'll be a surprise. I, exactly. Yeah, they're not Welcome my wallet, the so I'd give them to you. Because I know I put it's very golden stickers tickets. in there. Exactly. Yeah. They're in a safe place. You have them there, but... <laughs> in a safe place. So safe, I can't even get to them. That's probably very safe, yeah. to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's safer than that. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful time. I had a wonderful time running yeah. for you. I'm glad this to get the entire so team back. Fun. Yes. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, you for getting this crew together. Yep. You know what? It was quite literally and quite deeply my pleasure. I love you all very much, and this has been a hell of an adventure. Um, I get most of you in Call of the Netherdeep. Um, and you know, Hayden, when your schedule lightens up, if ever, come back, do more stuff yeah. in the, like in no, 2023. You no, know. I it. will certainly oh. keep you posted. Uh, I'm gonna let you know right now, uh, shit's only gonna get busier for me <laughs> at nearing the end of the year. Um, I have like a light couple of weeks, nice, and then things are getting busy again because I'm we gonna get you some, some projects for some extra life. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, oh there... look at my schedule. <laughs> I'm trying. Weekends are honestly my busiest time. Also, mm. hi, Ryuji. I didn't, I didn't notice you there until you started licking my finger. Hello. <laughs> oh, the orange babies. We had an Apollo coming for snuggles, yeah. and now we have a, we have a Ryuji. Are you boofing? <laughs> yeah, there, there'll be some things announced uh, this month and the next couple months, and you'll Ooh. know why I've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> so well, Hayden, then. I brought this up earlier, yeah. but uh for other games with great art, this is a B movie horror Ooh. game. 1970s style B movie art. Bro, those are beautiful. It's so good. That's We're gonna, cool. I'm gonna be running a bunch of this soon, so it should be a lot Hell of fun. Yeah. But That's uh cool. congratulations on all of your success. Because I know you had to leave us for a bit because you had like you know all of the success at once i was doing director training and i got hired on to some VO projects and i'm so gonna good. be directing a project uh starting literally this week um that i got hired on to do lots of writing uh so i'm a busy bee and the dice business has been kind of booming so nice i mean dice <laughs> <laughs> which if you want to commission dice my dice commissions are always open where, where would that where would people do that nice you can uh find me over on my twitter uh at hey uh where if you send me a dm uh yeah no both uh christine and robin have custom dice from me um yeah. i've actually gotten a lot better since i made their dice too <laughs> oh, um i have a dice drop uh happening this coming month so july so like in a week um, nice. but okay. I have you should uh, make you some wild beyond the witch light dice I actually really want to um, I have to finish prepping this sale that I'm working on but um, I am working on my dice business a whole lot so you can look me up guild hall dice um, and that's where you can find me uh, you can look up guild hall dice on Kofi, so you can also message me there directly nice and we'll talk, talk shop but yeah I, I, no, that's, I, that's kind of been me I have ideas they're very nice for which dice. dice. Actually, they're also yeah. slightly evil because they're very sharp. Yes. Yeah, no, I make sharp edge dice. I so. love them so much. Mm -hmm. 
you could kill a bitch with these. <laughs> yeah. butter butterfly dice would be really good. Also ones yes. with like little like gold mm. gold rectangle filigree or or confetti like tickets Easy. would be really good. Easy. But like the, I'm the saying aesthetically. The game, like the official ones were so underwhelming. Oh. Really? Oh, Those were, were they were official ones? There was official witch light dice and they're like orange and glittery. Oh yeah. Oh. But they like come in like a witch light, like their witch light carnival box thing. I mean, oh, I thought yeah. their official like rhyme ones were pretty boring too. Yeah. They were kind of icy ish, but not good. Yeah, I'm never blown away. Maybe it's because I'm so ingrained in the dice yeah. making community, and it's so big, so much a part of what I do. But um, yeah, it's the link. Um, but I I'm so underwhelmed these days by factory dice. Because yeah. I see just the vast creativity of dice makers. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Like everyone in the community, whether they're just starting out or they've been doing this forever. Because Honestly, it's the most oh, recent, um, the Kickstarter by, oh, who is it from? Frickin', frickin' frick. Um, Hello. Hello, Raid. Um, oh, I Everything forget. Everything dice? Everything just, dice just with the starter. matching oh, vaults so and sets, oh. and I'm like, oh, oh so good. I need. I, like them so I much. wish that I had crazy. money. <laughs> Let me so see pretty. if I can. <laughs> so I have a lot of dice making stuff on my desk. Um, also, I, I don't made... know if you do it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I made this heckin uh, like huge. Whoa, it disappeared. Oh, <laughs> let me let me get my heckin background. Hold on. <laughs> They've disappeared. Also, hello, I'm right. gone. casters and castles. Hello. Um, also, Hayden, do you have Twitch up right now? I do. Yes. Look at our beautiful dancing icon. Oh, that's also so cute. But yeah, I made, uh, it's like a D20 chunk, but it has, it's for my druid Regan for the Ooh, upcoming. Look at the flower but it has a huge inside. flower that I so dried oh, myself. Okay. It's Ooh. Petri style. So it has, because she's a circle of spores druid. Oh, oh cute. Yours. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <Robin>. how <laughs> are you a fan of the <laughs> There are I mean, spoilers, it, and I spoilers. saw Robin's reaction, so... We'll, There's we'll, a spoiler we'll... <laughs> I can't really say on Twitch, but those uh, that uh, were at our Patreon yeah, stream might yesterday. have some insight. No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, their little fireball... Um, snake skin dice for my friend's character Kyra. Mm -hmm. So I have actual nice. it's like a uh, boa constrictor skin that I bought on Etsy. Ooh. And, wow. Very cool. Um, so I like painted it and gold and stuff. So I post a lot and I've been uh working on I that love a lot. watching your 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 I love looking at all your dice. It's great. Yee. I uh I've also started VTubing which is another reason I'm busy bee. Uh so you can find me uh Scylla Aria uh, where I actually make the dice live a lot. So. Nice. Ooh, nice. All right. Well, folks, it has been an absolute a slice, uh, a joy and a pleasure to run this for you. We'll be back next week with How to Run. But I think for tonight, we should call it. Uh, let's go in reverse order, say who we are, where we can find ourselves <laughs> in a meditative sense. Uh, Hayden, you've talked a little bit about that. So you're Hayden. Anything else you want to toss in? Um... I'm Hayden Davio. My pronouns are they, because <laughs> I didn't get to do it in top. You did. You didn't get to do it. Do it. <laughs> I didn't get to do it, so I got to do it one last time for the game. Uh, I'm Hayden Davio. I'm a voice actor. Follow me at Hey Bell Voice on Twitter. I post a lot of it, it's a lot of shit posting, uh, but also some really deep posts uh, that are just very vulnerable, very just kind of peoplely. Um, but you can also follow me on Instagram because that's where I post a lot of my dice. Uh, follow me on uh, Scylla Aria, which is my VTuber because I make a lot of dice. That's where I make all the dice. So if you want more D and B for me, you can find me there and you can find me on the weekends and on Thursdays over on Nat 19 official, uh, where I will be doing more Dare and Durr and role play. Nice. All right, Robin. Oh yeah, we're going in reverse. I was showing, <laughs> was showing out nice. Hayden on the Twitch, okay? Preach. Um, But yes, um, I, I am Robin, I played cry sassy um our tiefling sorcerer uh, the clockwork Aww. soul <laughs> and uh <laughs> yeah this was a lot of fun and i was so surprised by hannah coming back i was so in go everybody somebody clip that someone please go back and clip that yeah. so we can have yeah. nico returns <laughs> 
Nice. But yes, we have to bring some chaos here on Dork Tales. Oh, all right, uh, Caitlin. Hello, I'm Caitlin, and I played Luthien Arida, um, the gunslinger of the party. Um, you can find me anywhere that petite medics are sold or whatever. I'm petite medic on all social medias ever. Except Twitter, and when I try and tweet underscore medic, and I will forever be salty about it, but that's okay. Right. Um, <laughs> Sorry, did you say your petweet on Twitter? Petite. No, no, but that's really cute. Petweet <laughs> adorable. Petweet medic, I wish okay, I did. Okay, that's really cute. Go change your Twitter that's right now. Really... Right now. I could actually probably. Petweet anyway, well, in a moment, in a moment. Um, Or you can find me here on Dork Tales in Nether Deep, and then the future, who knows? Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. I'm not yes. letting you go. <laughs> Speaking of people, I'm you not letting go. Stuck Krista. Here. Oh, you're fucking stuck with me. It's, I know. Well, I know. Like, we're, we're basically <laughs> married at this point. Exactly. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's estranged. Estranged. Um, and you're sick of me, but hey. <laughs> man, our, it's, I'm sure it's mutual. <laughs> uh, I have my moments. Exactly. Uh, anyway. <laughs> true uh, that's i just got to bring those back and everything's fine again true. True. uh i'm krista uh you can find me on pretty much all social medias as chahista fx as i am in the twitch chat um it's uh been a super honor fun time of playing isaac rinaldi of the runigling um as much as i have hated having to put prosate on my face every week uh it has been totally worth it and lots and lots of fun to play with you guys i'm super stoked uh you can also find me in nether deep uh and everything else i'm in has wrapped currently but i will be dming our uh patreon exclusive strixhaven game which i'm very excited about and i'm are we going to announce the cast to I, everyone soon I, I was going to announce that sometime in the next couple of weeks but if you want to if you want to announce it right now like this is a power move if you're okay with that do you want me to just put the ad on the screen in a sec uh yeah if you'd like to put on the ad um please everyone uh welcome everyone here for uh the first time not on patreon um you, our cast for strixhaven will be kelly robin who has been holding it in like mad for the last <laughs> oh, it's months. driving me nuts <laughs> for months uh our very own wiki lord trezelta uh and we are being joined again by uh not oft but some of our faved members, Bryn and Wei, who will be joining us. Uh, we're very, very excited. Uh, we had we just did our session zero uh, yesterday. Um, it was incredible. Um, if those sound like super cool people that you want to see role play relationships at university with magic, uh, go check us out on Patreon and join at the five tier or higher, and you will get access to our lives right away. Uh, otherwise, you'll need to wait a few months to actually get access to that. So. Yep. To Togimeki Strixhaven is. Togimeki, there's oh already merch. There's, there's already merch already going merch. up for that. That's awesome. Am I making that or is Bryn making that? Because I, Bryn's, the Bryn's working. Okay, on it. cool. Because I saw that it was posted and then I didn't hear anything because Bryn's, Bryn's like away doing work stuff. And I'm like, yes. Wait, was I supposed to make the damn shirt? Yeah, Bryn, who joined our call, <laughs> literally walking to her hotel to from vidcon in anaheim and did did session zero from their hotel in i saw her setup i saw her setup oh my god it's yeah hilarious. it was, it hilarious. was great all right uh, yes so please join us uh thank you so much kelly for that um and then if you're bored on saturday before mage i'm over at lawful stupid rpg where we play some DD from at 3 p.m pst that's me nice all right christine I'm Christine. Um, I played Gwendolyn Shafra. Mm. You can call her win um, with the she, hers, and the human monks. Um, <laughs> you can also find me as Lady Liliana on Twitch, uh, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm not that active on that stuff, but it comes and goes mm -hmm. as I have energy because I work a full time job and do this as like a second full time job. <laughs> feel that feel that <laughs> but you can also find me in shards of nern and uh the devil and the dubs the Vic doves the victorian era mage game nice. i think that's all i'm in right now that's all you're in right now that's that, all that, that has been announced right now that'll change, uh, that'll change. i'm sure and Quest folks question for now but, but tweet medic is actually free should i do it <laughs> 
do it. You might, it. You might want to grab that. All right. It's so cute. We'll do it. We'll do it. I mean, or at least just make it so that you have it and can always change over if you feel like it. Save. Oh my gosh. Sorry. But the other suggestions were Kate Wanda, Team Kate, Wanda Kate, Kate Wanda, or Kate underscore Wanda, Wanda underscore Kate, because my <laughs> name is Kate, hashtag Team Wanda. I just wanted to put that out there and I'm screenshotting this. <laughs> That's great. Uh, all right, folks. Uh, I've been your Dungeon Master Kelly. As always, it has been an honor and a pleasure to play with you all. Uh, if you like what we do here on Dork Tales, um, consider uh, giving us a like, a sub, uh, share with your friends. Uh, and if you're listening on podcast right now, give us a five star review and leave some comments. And maybe I'll use your name in a future episode as an NPC. Uh, also, uh, if you want to support the stream monetarily, we have a Kofi, we have a bunch of other stuff, but primarily the best way to support the stream is to go to patreon.com slash dorktales, where for as little as a dollar a month, uh, you can support the stream. Five dollars a month will start getting you additional perks. Uh, and then if you are, uh, if you've got the big stream energy, uh, like the following people, you can become one of the pillars <laughs> of the community that allow me to do this as my, my, my full-time gig and bring these stories to you with these wonderful people. Uh, and I want to particularly thank these people um such as my my world building royal patron Shulton, uh my divine producer dm michael gray my demonic producer solomon precarious and my princes of the patreon Taryn, buddy trizelta cubby gummy eolus and Amberthus, as well as everybody who joined us for wild beyond the witchlight because you all are phenomenal everybody who subscribes on twitch everybody who stays with us like i i love the crap out of you um you started following us when we had like 1200 people we're almost at 4,000 followers on twitch we're at we're gonna be at 5,000 subs on youtube before long like we're we're going up kids we're going up oh wow um, getting there and we're, thanks for running kelly cute. oh thank you thank you much. for thank running you. this was so much fun yeah. it's the only cardio i get <laughs> It's I one of the only forms of cardio. Took, that took me so long. To I feel like this was probably bed. one of the best D&D games in that it let you do anything. So much narrative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. it was not focused on combat and just fighting your way through stuff. Like I think this is probably one of the best D&D games we've had because of at least module wise because of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really yeah. let you just like throw out all of that planning for trying to figure out how to stat a fight against us and yeah. instead just okay what silly thing are they gonna do yeah. what like, shit are they gonna get thing? into yeah or it's like what character motivations can i throw at them which is mm -hmm. um so so fun and so unique um, i just got to really show off how well you roll with the weird shit we come up with yeah yeah <laughs> because this oh, was full bubble. of it the bubble yes. the bubble the bubble is the best oh my example. god He'll be back. still so I have them. personally quite like proficiency in bucket. Thank you very proficiency much. Proficiency yes. yeah. good. Always very good, good. Too. Oh, and uh, because because you didn't get to see it before, I'm going to do one more thing before I call it tonight. Uh, and that is, uh, Hayden, you know that I had like the rotating marquee, right? Yeah. Uh, of character <laughs> intros. Well, uh, let me just check. The stats are wrong because you upgraded your charisma super high. Uh, yeah. during game but that would be in uh credits distance while you're looking for that i would like to point out that our episode one of which light if no one's looked recently on youtube currently has thirty two thousand views wow oh, dude it's, oh. i knew it had hit 30 yeah when i 30, look up 32, on the light, you're one of the first thing that comes up so yeah. So, thank you everyone particularly that everyone that joined us for this because it really helped the channel boom and and it's been awesome so it's yeah. it's amazing and and another thing about it is i mean very simply like it's, it's so cool just seeing all of you and having these experiences yeah. and like i don't know it's, building this it's, community we have like the best community on the internet and if you're not already yeah, yeah. on our discord get on it it's free there's it, yeah. so long as you use discord there's no reason for you not to be on it just treat everybody with respect. That's that's all we ask. Yep. I lurk every once in a while. I'm like, I don't talk in there, but I do lurk and I scroll yes. every once in a while. Weird. Oh, did I not export it? I hadn't exported it yet. One sec. Wow. Uh, pay pay, yeah, pay no attention was, was... to the VHS of, uh, uh, of Top Gun. That's for a different project. Uh, little Aqua yeah. Girl saying that we were one of the first Witchlight campaigns. We were the first Session Zero, I think, of any. Yeah, we were. We, so, we beat... Yeah. Yeah. 
We beat everybody. Even like the official D and D channel, we were like, no, we're gonna run it now. All of us were like, do it. We don't know what it is. We don't know what we had no, no idea what we were doing. We're like, no oh, idea. Build no. Did we like, literally run it the night it dropped? We yes. ran it. No, I gave yeah. myself. A, I think I gave myself one night. Did I? I might we have session zero. zero. Oh, no, session zero, zero was the night, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. Like, you literally, you, you maybe had you an had hour to read the book. That, yeah. You grabbed the book the day of our session zero. Yep. That's right. And, and I feverishly read it all afternoon. I was lucky because the yeah. store got it early. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember you getting, I remember yeah. the photo in our chat that's like, I got yeah, the in the car. Yeah. It's in the been car buckled the in. package has been secured. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We're, we're huge nerds here. Um, and all right. And uh, for those of you who didn't get to see it at the beginning of next game, there it is. Nico Freya. Oh. I'm back, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I know. Oh, yeah. There to it load. is. Aww. Amazing. Mine's Yay. super heckin' delayed. Hold on. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, hey. Nice. Yes. All right. So, oh, folks, that's my baby girl. That's your baby girl. I love. I love Kiyoshiki's art. Um, it's who so knows? Good. We might. We might I come back. Her a lot. We might come back and do this again. If they make a sequel to Witchlight, I'm sure you all want to come back. There you go. Oh yes. <laughs> right. Because they. I like playing win. It's going to be good. So, folks, we'll see you tomorrow night for Call of the Nether Deep. Hopefully, we'll play on Wednesday as so long as the heat wave breaks and the like, life doesn't explode. Uh, and uh, come back next week for How to Run Wild Beyond the Witchlight, where we will shoot the breeze. And then maybe the week after that, we'll go and play Jackbox the following week or something like that. Yeah. So, we got Mondays off for a little while. We might as well have some fun. Um, thank you so much for everything. We love you very much. Good night. And uh, don't sneak into any carnivals. <laughs> or, or do, do. or do we're not your parents we're not we're, i'm just a dungeon master i'm not a cop <laughs> if you do you have to tell me otherwise if, it's I, 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 if, if, if i'm a dungeon master I tell, I'm, a, I'm a dungeon master <laughs> i'm a dungeon master good night everybody